the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Holy God, you are holy. Wave your hands to you. You are holy. Oh, I love God. Are you Lord God? Almighty. Almighty. Worthy is the land. Worthy is the land. forever Lord you reign forever I worship you I worship you sing Lord you reign Lord you reign forever I worship you your hands and shout out the Lord in this place. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. The warrior, the multi-breasted one, King of kings and Lord of lords, Alpha, Omega, Omega, the lifter of man. Waymaker, life giver, restorer. Are you worshiping him? Kebron Sadimalash, Kebron Dakatusiata, you are mighty. Go healer, he manifests as healer. If you call him Rafa, he will come as Rafa. You call him Jireh, he will come as Jireh. Shibran Degede Barakatusia. Are you blessing him? Don't be distracted inside, outside. And you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are mighty, so mighty in your ways. You are mighty God. So mighty in your way Sing you are glorious So glorious in your ways You are glorious So glorious in your ways But you can be dangerous So dangerous in your way Sing Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, you are glorious, so glorious in your way.
you are powerful, say. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. You are powerful, Lord. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. Go ahead and worship Him in this atmosphere of worship. Anything and everything can happen. Take your eyes away from the pains, the burdens, and focus on Jesus. Hello, Madonai. Hello, Madonai. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God. I worship you. Go ahead and press into him. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are faithful and true. Lamb of God. Oh, there is no deception in him. You're the king of kings, Lord of lords. Faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. The Lamb of God, I worship you. Lamb of God, I worship you. Lamb of God. I worship you. Eba shaba la kata brande gede ba la kato siada. Shane be kete branda gada ba la kata brande gede ba la da. Kete brande gede ba la dia. Majesty, the healer, the lifter, the blesser, the changer, the restorer. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Eman de baratos kadiba lako shada brande gede balada baria kata. Shkadi brande gede balada baria kabanada. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. worship him he comes he reveals his mighty power his grace his anointing his wisdom not without worship not without invoking his presence in total surrender you came to church
We worship you. Hallelujah. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. It's your home. We welcome you. I'm not talking about the building, I'm talking about your life. I am your house. I'm your home. I welcome you. Lord, I welcome you. I am your house. Your home. I welcome you. tell you the power of God is so strong in this place. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 Adonai, we thank you. We worship the Lamb of God. We worship the Lord of glory. Who can heal but you? Who can lift but you? Who can anoint, who can exalt but you? I love you, Lord. Go ahead and worship, don't be tired. And I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul. Wait, on take joy, my King. In what you give, let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear.
find your own song find your own words let him hear you tonight let him hear you worship tonight some of you this is a night of surrender for you some of you this is a night where you take all the luggages and all the loads and just lay it down you're not wasting your time the moments invested in worship will translate into impartations into liftings for you Lord Jesus take my life take every burden take every pain my God I sense such an intense presence of the Holy Spirit in this place it's a call to worship many of you even in this atmosphere you will find out that miracles are already happening that faith is rising from within your spirit for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord the superiority of his way whoever knew that a shout could bring a fence city down for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord whoever knew that a rod could part the Red Sea heater and teeter and allow God's people to walk through for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that prayer and singing aloud could save Paul and Silas, that all doors can open, not at the instance of physical strength, but prayer and praise for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. I believe that many of us here under this intense atmosphere are receiving all kinds of impartations. Some of you are ministers. The Lord is calling you to deeper dimensions of power. You cannot serve his purposes in the end time this way. You need a fresh embracing. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Shalimana kasabra negede balakatuziada. 
Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me, breathe on me, Lord. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. And when you have no words again, guess what you say? Yeah, 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 There is no one else like you There is no one else like you You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you Now ask him for something definite tonight. Go ahead. Ask him for something very definite tonight. Ask him because be fooled. Restoration, restoration. That grace is coming heavy on someone. Restoration. The Lord is drawing back to your life the things that have left you. Did the bones in the valley of Ezekiel not come back again? The Lord is saying, I'm putting back in order. I'm putting back in order. Everything that has left your life, everything that is in disalignment, tonight it is coming back to order. Coming back to order. Families are coming back to order families that have been decades apart there is an anointing in this place right now bringing things to order i prophesied as i was commanded and there was bones the bones began to come financial bones are coming relational bones are coming career bones are coming ministerial bones from wherever they are coming bone to his bone Bone to his bone. Hallelujah. Now I'm sensing there is, please listen, there is a very strong anointing in this place right now for creative miracles. Very strong anointing for creative miracles whether it is a problem with your body a problem with your bone you're on wheelchairs you're on a crutch some sort of aid 
anything at all organ failure i sense very strongly there is this anointing right now in the name of jesus i don't know where you are inside and outside you came for a miracle service right now miracles are happening i'm stretching my hands please when you identify those people let them check themselves right now if you check yourself and find out that something is happening to you i want you to run to the front right now there are miracles i'm sensing very strong miracles creative miracles organs that have been missing some organs that have been removed are being replaced by the spirit of the living god supernatural miracles are happening even by the spirit of god supernatural miracles are happening and i'm sensing there is a strong anointing for restoration of hearing there are people who may be deaf completely or partially deaf deaf in one side of your ears it doesn't matter where but in the name of jesus i'm declaring healing right now by the power of the holy spirit such a strong you by the spirit of faith be healed in the name of jesus and god is doing something marvelous as miracles are happening walk my dear don't be afraid let the power of god touch your limbs right now look at me young lady look at me which of the legs by the power that raised christ from the dead something is happening to you i'm seeing like fire just passing through you first take it easy. any other person with your crutch or something just lift it up lift it up right now and try walking lift it up right now whether you are inside whether you are outside i want you to lift it up in the name of jesus christ lift it up right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm seeing the vision of a woman who came here with a sick child there's another wheelchair there come walk come 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 walk walk sir lift it up walk look at this look at this look at this if there's any other wheelchair lift it up or or crutch or whatever lift it up in the name of jesus there is a woman who came here with a child a sick child your child what is wrong with the child come how old is your child huh yeah four months what's his name her name is Sochine. oh her name is a she can i pray for her yes you can. father in the name of jesus i saw this in my vision and i pray by the power of the holy spirit you can even see she had to pull up the clothes of the child no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me in the name of jesus christ let there be miracles right now Please help her in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a miracle here. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a supernatural miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone you cannot lift your hand I don't know if the hand is broken fractured or or maybe it's just not working please lift it now lift it now there's someone you cannot lift your hand check yourself and come now miracles are happening here lift it now look at that lift it don't worry don't be afraid just just do what I'm asking you to do lift it check yourself you cannot lift your hand I'm seeing this by the Spirit and there are miracles that are happening we're going to be seated shortly but you couldn't lift your hands please help them so they are not to look at this let her come lift it up madam lift it up don't be afraid are you seeing what god is doing lift it up looks like a stroke or something koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles <laughs> hallelujah 
He could not walk before. Walk, sir. Him, Go. Walk. Now he's walking. Oh, he came here on a stretcher. Yes, sir. Walk. This is son that brought him. Walk. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. How long I left him, I went to my room. The next day he could not talk, he could not stand, he could not do so you see, like come, a dead let him come. You can see that this is please let him come. You can see that this is not sickness, this is witchcraft. That you get up in the morning and the man could not help you he is saying something, give him could not eat, could not do anything like a dead person for close to two months. He was he was on the ground. How did he completely could not walk? Completely could not walk, could not daddy on his own. you believe in jesus run don't just walk run don't worry go ahead Don't cry. Where are you coming from? from. You, you could not lift. You could not raise his hand, but I can do it very well. Lift it down, up, down, up, down. The Lord heal and perfect her in Jesus' name. What happened to him? He said he has swollen leg that he couldn't stand. But you, but now he could you, stand. you could not stand. Give him the mic. Whether English, whatever language, go ahead. I cannot, but I cannot walk. I can I cannot even. I what's what's wrong, wrong with them? Wrong. Is what's that a miracle? Wrong. What happened to him? The child has a problem. You should bring it forward. What is wrong with him? He cannot speak and he can't stand straight. Okay, we are going to pray for them. He cannot stand straight. Yes, Hold on, sir. just a moment. marvelous can you hear me in the name of jesus marvelous look at me by the power that raised christ from the dead two of you don't cry come son look at me look at me walk come follow me come 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 in the name of jesus christ now you see let me tell you something if you think miracles are stage managed please think again not everybody you can see these kinds of situations people who just come most of these things listen to me most of these situations are not medical conditions this is witchcraft are we together who is miracle miracle i'm hearing the name miracle who is miracle What's his name? His name is Miracle. Are you together? Huh? My hand has been stiff for some time. Your hand has been stiff? Yes. Madam? Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I receive life. I receive to life. This hands. To this hand. Right now. Right do now. everything I ask you to do. Look at me. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Lift two of them up. Down. Lift it up. Lift it up. Down. Lift it up. Down. Listen. You see, brothers and sisters, let me teach you something these things are not the doing of men once the anointing and the grace for certain dimensions are there you must open up your heart and believe this is unto the glory of the king it's not just to show that a man is powerful are we together now there are things that money cannot buy 
I'll pray for you. Please, if I don't mention your case, don't come out. Look at this boy's hand. Look at this. You can see that this is this is a demonic thing. What? Where are you coming from? From Abuja, Abuja. What happened to him? It's fire, oil. Oil poured on him. Yes. What's your name? Miracle. Oh, you are the miracle. Yes, sir. And it has refused to heal. There is somebody here who has like an ulcer, a severe wound on your leg that has refused to heal. Please come quickly. Just that person. Come. Come. I just want to minister to that person. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let there be healing over this demonic condition. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, complete healing in Jesus' name. Where is that person? Is there someone like that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where is it? I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you. I bring how long has this been madam how long one years one years and it, and it, what is has refused to heal who else has that there's, there's someone with that condition I mean it, it like like a wound like an ulcer I'm, I'm not talking of a small wound that you just injured yourself maybe playing football a serious wound that is a demonic situation this is what I'm seeing Please help us. Is this mic working or look for another one, please? I've had this for getting to maybe um, 28 years. 28 years. What is that? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. It's just been there and it won't go. You can't walk? No, I can't walk, but it's like, it's just been on my leg. Like, it won't go. The, the doctors have tried and I've just had it like that. Like, I don't know how it appeared. Well... I'll pray for you, but this is not relief. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I'll pray for all of you. Huh? Madam? This thing. Help out. Is there, who is holding the mic? Please, you hold it. These gentlemen are not doing a good job here, please. I knew myself. I grew up with this. She grew up with this challenge. Don't cry. Oh, you grew up with this. It smells, it has refused to It be. smells. Oh, look at a wonderful lady like this. And you can see how demonic and wicked the devil is. What do you mean it smells? At times, it brings out bottles. At times, I don't go away. Hold my hands, my dear. Hmm. Let it be over now. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, look what is happening to her. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, let it leave you forever. It's a very deep, I can see it almost like it's rotting. Now, be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let it be gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let it be gone right now. This demonic thing, it will go back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for every healing and every miracle here, who is this gentleman? He said for 12 years now. For 12 years. 12 years. What is wrong? Oh, can you, can you see the legs? It has refused to heal. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes. Where are you from? From Cross River State. Cross River. And you can walk with it? Yes, but it's painful. But it's painful. Yes. Can I pray for you? You see, the church is a solution center. Yes. Out of him now. 
out. My friend, the name, stand up. Run. Go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Look at this. Any pain, check yourself. Look at, he's stamping this now. You see, let me tell you this. Most, I'm going to be praying right now. Do you know? Do you know the reason why? Now, I've heard people say a lot of things. I'm, I'm not here to create a, I love the body of Christ and we are sent to the body. I'm not one person who tears down people. But I have, respectfully speaking, a word of advice generally for ministers of the gospel. And I say this by the privilege of the election of grace. Whatever you do not understand, sustain the intelligence to stay where you are called rather than speaking in an unwise way over what you do not understand. You see, the Bible says we see in part and we prophesy in part. Are we together now? And there are many people who, for instance, and I say that I have profound respect for the body of Christ, everyone, fathers of faith, contemporaries, mentees and sons, subordinates, everyone. But we have to be careful. We, we, we cannot carry the limit of our spiritual understanding and make that the standard for the body of Christ. We are going to destroy the body of Christ. We must all together, as men of God, admit that we are still students in the school of the Spirit. And let's be careful so that what you criticize today may not be what you need tomorrow. Are we together? And one of those issues is this issue of the influence of spirits over people. Now, there's no time tonight to begin to teach you the operation of demons and why they seem to be responsible for this. If you want to know why many cases of sickness are in the earth, you have to know who demons are and how they came. Are we together now? Demons are not fallen angels. No. Fallen angels are not demons. No. Are we together now? Yes. Fallen angels are not demon spirits. Demon spirits, listen to me. The Bible says when these fallen angels came, the Bible says they had intercourse with the daughters of men. Is that true? And they gave birth to a species of people that were half men and half something else. After the flood of Noah, everything that was alive died. Now, when human beings die, those who are righteous go to heaven. Is that true? Those who are unrighteous, they go to hell. Is that true? These fallen angels who perform this treason and sin by sleeping with the daughters of men, leaving their original estate, the Bible tells us they have been bound in everlasting chains. They are alive, but they are not in this location. Are we together now? That means it is not necessarily them afflicting people. Now, these disembodied spirits that were the products of these fallen angels and women, when they die, where do they go to? Because they can't go to heaven, they can't go to hell. They are still rotating around the earth. These are the spirits that need human bodies to function. Are you seeing that now? And they are very old. They are not new. There is none being created and new. They have been very old. They are so in need of bodies that a legion could manage one body. The madman in Gadara. One legion, they were crying for accommodation. When Jesus Christ was going to rebuke them, they prayed and they said, now you want to inconvenience us. And they had to make do with pigs and make people to lose their businesses. Demon spirits can and do find access to the bodies of men it is possible for multiple spirits to coexist in the bodies of an individual i'm saying this because behind many of the challenges of people like you'll be seeing now are demon spirits now that does not mean the people are possessed if they are in christ and they are believers 
possession is not the only the only demonic influence that spirits can have over people there is manipulation and control there is witchcraft there is deception is the weather but when a demon spirit enters that situation um what's the drug for malaria cannot solve it now or when a demon spirit gets involved with that headache you can say my head my head and still die that one is not headache again but the bible says wherefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. some of the miracles here that you see and you know sometimes we have to be careful to not commonize miracles and the power of god you can see and hear certain things too frequent that you just laugh over it every manifestation of the power of god is proof that he's alive and let me tell you one thing i know with the holy spirit when you pay attention to him and refuse to get familiar with him you will see more of his power and his grace in ever increasing dimensions are we together therefore we pray right now that every miracle and everything that has happened here whether healing have, have i prayed please come darling have i prayed anyone who have not prayed for let me just touch them i decree and declare let there be perfection over them in the name of jesus christ supernatural perfection i will pray for them both of them right now in the name of jesus christ perfection over these legs now in the name of jesus christ i bring you life i bring you healing i bring you life even by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ baba healing for you forever my dear sister this healing remains permanent in jesus name let's celebrate jesus hallelujah well see please sit down please sit down if you can god bless you we didn't even have time to greet ourselves good evening everybody welcome to our miracle service for the month of october <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord apologies to have started without any salutations it's just that sometimes this the hand of god just wants to step in and bring supernatural solutions for people thank you for all of you who are here all the overflows thank you so much and thank you for the many who are connecting from across the nations europe america um, africa and every other part the lord bless you and god will do us good in jesus name let me just honor the two great men of God. First, um, Pastor Felix Bamirin from the U.S. God bless you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hallelujah. And then I'd like you to please honor a great man of God and his dear wife, Bishop Okudeli, and his precious wife. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Thank you. Hallelujah. The church remains a solution center as far as the needs of men is concerned and as far as the purposes of god the advancement of the kingdom is concerned the church is not a nuisance to civilization the church is not anti-advancement because many people look at the church as though we are a religious inconvenience to people as though without us people would make tremendous progress as if our presence has impeded the advancement of people maybe there might be a few misrepresentations here and there in the church that may have justified such statements but generally based on the authority of scripture the bible calls us the light of the world the bible calls us the salt of the earth hallelujah the Bible also calls witnesses according to Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says that when we receive the Holy Spirit, we are made witnesses. And we've been taught here that a witness is a validator of a claim. There is no need for a witness until there is a contention. When you contend in the court of law as to the validity of a statement, then you are asked to bring in a witness. 
and that every witness has an evidence your evidence is your token of truthfulness it is that which gives you the credence to defend whatever it is that you're defending hallelujah praise the name of the lord and for us in this kingdom the supernatural please listen carefully the supernatural and the miraculous is our witness that means that we demonstrate the validity of jesus he's been alive he's been exalted he's been enthroned through and by the manifestation of miracles signs and wonders according to scriptures the the, the authorized instruments of validating christ and validating the reality of his reign his person his dominion is the miraculous hallelujah in john chapter 2 from verse 11 the wedding in cana and then we'll go to verse 23 the bible says this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him pay attention please go back to verse go back to verse 11 it says this beginning of miracles it did not stop this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him are you seeing that that means by this performance of the miraculous he showed that he was an effective witness in fact when you read revelation chapter 1 jesus himself is called the faithful witness is that true verse 23 of the same john chapter 2 the bible says now when he was in jerusalem so we see what he did in cana of galilee when he was in jerusalem at the passover in the feast day the bible says many believed in his name why when they saw the miracles which he did not when he told them he was jesus in this kingdom listen to me the strengthener of the convictions of men is the miraculous when people receive the gospel the message of jesus christ backed up with power genuine miracles the bible says it sustains an ability to compel men to believe john chapter 6 from verse 1 and 2 people will also follow you and follow jesus in the presence of the miraculous the bible says after these things jesus went over the sea of galilee which is the sea of tiberias verse 2 read with me please one to read and a great multitude followed him why because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased they followed him whoever is able to demonstrate the reality of god i need to follow him can i tell you sincerely believers in this end time men are not stupid they are not going to find themselves wasting their time in a place where there is no performance of the reality of the power and the grace of god the bible says where the carcasses are they are the eagles now imagine this our father who was healed now completely paralyzed from this demonic thing and in a moment he's been healed do you know what will happen when this man goes back home imagine that you laughed at him and said go to that your place and then he returns back walking that is already a salmon is that true They followed him because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased I will continue to emphasize that this gospel that we have been given is not just a message like a lecture the gospel was supposed to be backed up with power power to change power to restore power to transform power to lift power to make 
that when people sit under the influence of the gospel certain things should happen to them they should not only be saved as far as their eternal destiny is concerned but even while they are on earth the power to transform the power to lift people out of their yokes and their situations are we together look at the wonderful testimonies marvelous things done by the hand of god we need to know and we need to let the world know that jesus is still alive i remember rw shambach of blessed memory he would shout and shout and look at people whilst he's doing his radio program and he would shout and say don't touch that dial and ask them to stay because he was about to pray for them and he would pray and you would see all kinds of miracles manifestations of the power of god and you would later hear that hardened criminals or individuals who vowed to not have anything to do with jesus in the presence of dramatic notable continuous signs and wonders they are broken by the power of the holy spirit do you know one thing that is powerful about the miraculous the miraculous forces you to admit that there is a god and authority above you you see listen carefully we live in a world where people have all kinds of theological opinions as far as god is concerned when someone who is lying down on a stretcher or someone on a crutch or someone wherever just stands up like that it immediately tells you that there has to be a god in heaven and if that god is truly alive as demonstrated by that miracle then it means he has the power to turn lives around how about someone who comes to church like some of our dear people here trusting god for a job and now is having the privilege of having multiple jobs it now tells you there is such a thing as favor so next time you hear that the grace for favor is coming on you anytime you want to doubt the holy spirit will fetch from the memory of that testimony and tear down that doubt are we together now one time i remember a, a lady who was pregnant true story and she was about to give birth but it was like nothing was happening for hours and hours according to her now she had been in the bank i, I said the bank the hospital and they asked her to even walk around up and down she came back lay down again this thing was not coming and they said look it's like they gave her some time that if it does not happen they may have to induce her or maybe perform a cs and she was sick and tired she was tired you know she just felt fed up and i don't know what happened she sent a text i think i was studying or i was doing something then and i saw the text i just thought to reply and then i called her i said what is this she was so happy she said i've been here a long time and i just sensed the power of god i said that baby without delay come out now god is my witness i stand before the god of heaven i don't think he was up to five minutes and she just gave birth like that now let me tell you this the miracle is not just for her it's for everyone who is mocking god within that world or that hospital if you are also pregnant too and you watch somebody make a call two of you are suffering and crying and hoping that this thing will work fast and someone just makes a call it doesn't matter who was the other at the other side of the phone and she gives birth immediately what will you do are you see listen to me are you seeing that evangelism is easy when there are results evangelism is easy in the presence of notable results please believers hear me we are, we are we are called into a life that demonstrates the reality of the power and the glory and the grace of god most of you are here now seated some of you have locked up your businesses some of you have left many busy things you should be doing some of you your own assemblies it will be unfair to just sit down and waste your time and share the grace no sir that by the time you are done here 
as you are going home is testimonies that will be distracting you distracting you distracting you you want to rest and another one comes please sit down it's good to be a good preacher a communicator of truth but it's best to be a good and powerful preacher one who has both the message and the backing the message and the backing the message and the backing believe me i have with all humility he has granted me the privilege of working in this reality of the miraculous and you would think that after many years of seeing this thing i would be tired and i would get used to it every single manifestation of god's power comes anew and afresh again do you know why because you look at the lives of people who have received this thing and you look at the economic advantage that that miracle has brought to them you look at the relational advantage it has brought to them So you are here seated and business is not working. You are in debt. Everything is scattered. Your life is gone haywire. Probably your rent or your building, everything. And then brothers and sisters, just like that, something from heaven through a man just rests on your life. And God says, I've sorted you. And you go back and doors begin to open for you. It is true. And in case you don't believe it you are welcome that's exactly why you should be here where else should an unbeliever be in an arena where he can believe let me show you two more scriptures there are conditions for us to receive acts 6 8 when I was studying and I found this scripture, it really blessed me. The Bible says, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen, full of faith and power. That means it took the union of faith and the power of the Holy Ghost for great wonders and miracles to happen. It will always take faith and the anointing listen carefully it will always take faith in jesus christ faith in the vessel that he will use and then the power of the holy spirit upon the vessel that will be used by god this is what produces miracles the bible says stephen he was full he didn't just have it that means it is possible for a man to have faith and power but not be full of it is that true there are certain vehicles where if the gas the fuel is on reserve certain features in the car will stop functioning to help conserve fuel have you seen that kind of thing happen that's how it can be in your life that by the time you are not full of faith and power to be able to conserve you and manage you some dimensions will have to be shut down but when you are full of power you go to the gas station and fire that gas into that car and you now see the potential of that car the aces are on everything functioning at maximum strength this is one of the reasons why impartation is powerful this is one of the reasons why the word of god is powerful you can be full of faith and you can be full of power don't say i have faith don't say i have power there are different measures of it in acts chapter 2 they were filled with the holy ghost in acts chapter 4 they were filled with the holy ghost again in ezekiel 47 there were four levels of an encounter with that river so you might be here as a man of God, you might be here as a preacher, the head of a prayer group somewhere, and you've seen a measure of faith and power. It's time to upgrade this thing. So that certain possibilities that are not happening in your life can begin to happen. If you're with me, say amen. amen. The Bible says, Stephen, full of faith and power. Faith and power. Faith and the anointing the assignment of faith is to connect you to the power of god the assignment of the power of god is to is to insist that the word of god that has been declared that it comes to pass you have to understand this faith in itself does not give you power 
faith is a connector your convictions and the assignment of faith is to commit god once god is committed his power flows through that funnel of your faith to your situation it is the divine power of god that does the work of correcting of restoring of creating are you learning in galatians chapter 3 and verse 5 the bible says he therefore that ministered to you the spirit and walketh miracles among you question do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing that produces faith you see it now so he tells you how you can get that faith and that power if i am to minister there is something i am bringing as the man of god i am bringing my faith in jesus christ and i'm bringing the power of the holy spirit invested in me that is my contribution to that miracle your own contribution you don't need power your own contribution is your faith in jesus and your faith in the vessel please understand this i rebuke distraction in jesus name you have to get this this is how the miraculous works so if you are in need of a miracle here's how it works the man of god or the vessel who will be used by god what is his contribution in that equation of the miraculous i will tell you his contribution is his faith in jesus that connects him to the power of god his second contribution is that investment of spiritual power given to him either by the election of grace or through his personal press in the things of god or both are we together now on your own part the recipient of that and of that miracle what is your contribution number one to believe in jesus christ and then number two to believe the vessel that he's going to be using it, it it is important that you believe in jesus but then that you also believe in the vessel when there is that combination faith from your own part faith in jesus faith in the vessel from the man of god his faith in jesus christ and the power of god given to him there is nothing that will stop that miracle if that miracle every time the miraculous does not happen these are the four things to check on your own part your faith in jesus or number two the degree and dimension of spiritual power that is at work in you may not be sufficient to produce that degree of miracle on the part of the recipient his faith in jesus christ and the bible here says that there is the hearing of faith that means the operation of the miraculous starts with the the declaration of the word which is the basis for faith faith comes by hearing are we learning something tonight yes the bible says how that when peter went at the hour of prayer he went to pray and he saw a man who was lame from birth at gate beautiful and he looked at them expecting to receive something so the man had faith he had faith in whatever they were doing and had faith in the vessels because he looked at them expecting to receive are we together now and then peter came and said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk he believed in peter but he did not believe in what peter said so he sat down and there was no miracle next verse peter teaches us that he took him by the right hand he had to prime his faith mister if you keep looking at me you are going to sit down there forever are you seeing why we prompt people who receive to take action based on acts chapter 3 verse 7 so if you are on a stretcher and prayer has come and they say do what you could not do it is like peter taking him by the right hand because there are people who just sit down there and the moment there is no action there is no miracle God, listen to me john 2 fetch of the water and take to the priest the bible says as they went the ten lepers go and show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went the man who was blind go and wash in siloam as he went are we together now 
notice that it was at the instance of action that there was a performance the word of god comes the power of god is released to confirm that word action is taken on your own part to connect with the power of god then the miraculous happens for you this is true in the area of finances this is true in the area of oppression so if there are demons hiding and sitting quietly as they are hearing me talk like this they will not leave you know why they will not leave because a decree has not been given for them to leave and you have not responded based on the instruction that makes them to leave so until then there might be a basis for them to hide behind people and situations now you understand what will happen in a few minutes here now right that a decree comes by the power of god usually to come in form of an instruction even like you are hearing now and as you respond to that instruction leave the rest for god the moment you respond the power of god like a tornado collides with that spirit have you seen a bulldozer bringing down a house or any of these these giant machines it will tear down the house like a piece of paper that's what the power of god does with demon spirits and anything that is antichrist the only thing that is spared when the power of god moves is that which has the signature of christ on it once it does not have the signature of christ it is called power against there is power against like development control can mark certain houses and say bulldozer once you see x don't ask questions you just bulldoze it that's what the holy ghost does he will mark certain things in your life financial limitation x you see that now different things now power of god you can come and i tell you the power of god the 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 angels are there is a coordinated work and scatter everything that does not look like christ how did jericho fall he received an instruction the hearing of faith are we together now he taught the people and communicated that instruction they took action as touching their faith in jesus and their faith in joshua and on the seventh day they went seven times and he said shout sometimes when you see me tell you okay shout the name jesus it's not ritual i'm showing you these things from scripture that shout is called the healer it's a shout that is able to bring mountains down every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome yeah, every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome prophesy every high thing say every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown next time listen to me when someone begins to ask you how did it happen you can tell them there is a part that i can explain but there is a part i cannot explain the part of my believing god and my believing his servant i can explain it the part of his servant believing god i can explain the part of power coming on his servant i can explain but the part of power producing the result i cannot explain the bible says just as you do not know how the way of the wind or how bones are formed in her that is with child so you do not know the way of god the the spiritual dynamics of that miracle is beyond your realm so don't ask me how your destiny helper will find you in abuja uh -uh, uh -uh, that you are now entering a realm that is more than that is not for you you just know that once my faith connects to jesus my faith connects to his servant the servant of god's faith connects to jesus and connects to power when power is allowed to come 
there is no limit to what can happen i'm teaching you a powerful equation that you will have to use right away apostle how will my life change you can't you can't realize how many pages of prayer requests i wrote every one of them is the same formula that will bring it on your own part i've come prepared on my own part you see there is a twofold assignment as far as releasing the miraculous is concerned number one is my faith in jesus christ and you ask him whether i believe him in him or not number two connection to his power you see so when we spend time with him to build capacity we want to be full of faith and power not just to have faith and power having faith and power is not enough you must be full of it for mighty wonders and miracles to happen you are here tonight as different as our faces are so are situations for others it may be a financial situation i presume for most people for others it may be a health situation a demonic verdict by satan for others it may be a family situation the devil just wants to come and sit on the destiny of a family and tear them apart for others it may be your career for others it may be patterns of wickedness and witchcraft and all kinds of satanic things for others you don't even know what is wrong with you you came so that god will help you find out what in the world is wrong you are still welcome for others lack of children barrenness yoke that the devil has just placed upon people an embargo for others that they will not rise beyond certain realms or not even rise at all how about people who lose all kinds of things i once counseled a family years ago who true story that every time they receive any lump amount once it is a substantial amount darkness it looks like sickness would just blow it up in that family from mother sick father sick they, they will keep having a relay of sickness until the money finishes then you find out with the hospital or not everything will finish then i prayed for this woman who had a young lady a young daughter and i've heard people talk about matching charm and all these kinds of things and quite honestly i've not paid attention to it until i saw a leg that actually went through that thing when you see that leg you know how you boil potatoes you know how you boil yam that's how that leg was looking I said what in the world is this it was like the only thing that was left is just for doctors to finish their this and then they they now amp amputate it and cut it off how about these demonic things of objects moving in people's bodies have you heard those things some of you have those things they move around roam around as as no no and then you talk of strange dreams and occurrences like someone shared here you go to bed you are happy desiring to go forward you find yourself writing all kinds of nonsense an exam that never finishes a hole that you never see the end primary school doing all kinds of things you are seeing yourself with dead relatives that have gone this one is not cloud of witness this is demons just help those under the anointing there wicked spirits that just come some of those things are the spirit of the grave calling you i hope you know the grave has a voice oh yes sir it does that it can call men and say come to us please help them and anybody here who that call has been coming over you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god we silence the voice of the grave now please say i shall not die shout it say i shall not die but leave say it again i shall not die oh, sit down listen to me listen to me listen to me listen to me your reality is based on what you believe not what your neighbor believes your reality is blessed is she not them that believe for unto her not unto them 
there shall be a performance don't sit down and allow a defeated life and smile over it again continue to contend until victory is won are we together the hearing of faith what does the hearing of faith do it makes you to have faith in jesus and to have faith in the vessel that he will use my own part is to study scriptures and be convinced to have faith in god mark chapter 11 from verse 22 23 24 jesus himself is teaching us through the story of the fig tree mark 11 from verse 22 jesus was answering said have faith in god next verse he says verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith the rule is in verse 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe 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 that ye receive them and you shall have them notice three important words there believe receive have there is a difference between receiving and having you can only have what you have received if you have not received it you cannot have it receiving is a spiritual activity having means that it is manifest here and now in your life believe receive have that's the question that will work for many people tonight that you believe and you receive and then you shall have because the bible says the same word is quick and powerful that means it does not delay it is quick and it is powerful tonight i welcome you to an experience of power an experience of grace and hear me do not allow this miracle service be like any other one no be very intentional whether you are outside all the overflows wherever down to the basement outside following online or following from whatever tv station just make sure your heart is opened and that you can receive right from where you are because jesus is in this place we have the singular assignment of re-presenting him to a world that is trying to forget him to remind them that he is alive to remind them that he is king to remind them that he is powerful but very quickly i just sense in my spirit while you are seated my heart is just there to make the altar call now before i even begin the ministration listen carefully the songwriter says jesus is the answer for the world today The question is man's inability to help himself the issue is man's inability to give himself a future and a hope jesus christ is the beginning and the foundation of a true christian experience having a christian name is not equal to being a christian going to church is not equal to being a christian hanging around a prayer warrior or a believer who loves jesus does not make you a christian you are here scattered looking at me in this main auditorium and then all across the overflows outside i believe that someone is seated and saying apostle hearing you speak i know that i need to take jesus seriously i know that it's time for me to really make this decision for jesus intentionally not by coercion and not just the play of emotions a genuine decision to live my life meaningfully so that whether in this life or even in the life to come i am sure that victory is guaranteed for me and there are yet others who are saying apostle i remember coming responding to an altar call here 
or i listened to a message and i made jesus lord but as it is my life has gone haywire and i need restoration wherever you are i'm going to count one to five across the balcony the basement everywhere outside when i count one to five i want you to leave your seat and come here come and stand if you are ashamed sit down just sit where you are and allow the devil to make a mess of your life but if you are determined to say there's no point pretending this thing i like you don't just come as if you are coming to a funeral please stand for space i want you to come with joy in your heart knowing that you are coming to jesus come i'll begin my counting now one two koinonia are you celebrating them it takes the holy spirit to bring men to jesus those who are coming from outside this auditorium please run run to jesus i love you lord keep coming and i lift my voice to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my king in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears just breathe your name upon me breathe just breathe your name upon me breathe keep coming to jesus your ever hates your name breathe lord just breathe your name upon me breathe the bible says whosoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away ladies and gentlemen listen to me you are coming before jesus the one who is able to give every man a new beginning the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave so jesus is a gift a gift to you and every gift can be accepted or rejected your coming here like i taught you is your own part of the faith you have heard the word that produced faith and you have responded now eternal life can be yours in this prayer listen to me ladies and gentlemen do not allow the devil lie to you condemn you and make you feel that there is no future he says i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you an expected end it is my joy that someday when this life is over when you stand before him we will see you and you stand before jesus as you behold him in his glory if mama is coming please help her is she coming to jesus my goodness look at this you made a way you you made a way the way to salvation you made a way please lift your right hand if you can as high as it can get and say this from the depth of your heart say lord jesus one more time say it say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe with my heart that you died for me i believe that you were raised for my justification tonight i make you my savior my lord my king i declare that the power of sin satan 
hell and the grave is broken over my life i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life from today i go forward ever and backward never keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come to you and i pray by the power of the holy spirit that the power of sin satan hell the grave is right now broken over your life i declare according to scriptures that you are recipients of eternal life and in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit i pray that you are established and you are grounded in the house of god and grounded in righteousness you will go from glory to glory and from grace to grace in jesus name just a final word before you follow our counselors listen to me and this this applies to everybody and those who are watching don't get born again and run away from the house of god the bible says they that be planted the house of god is not a cinema that you go and visit when you see a movie that you like the house of god is not a museum that you go there when you hear that they brought something you want to see it takes discipline and it takes diligence to be planted a seed does not enter the ground and jump out at will it stays there until it begins to bear root and the bible says he shall be who is the he the he that is planted shall be like a tree listen carefully when you make when you just visit the house of god casually i feel like coming for koinonia today i think today is miracle service you're not going to grow that way they that be planted it takes discipline to be planted in the house of god and then the bible says that you will flourish in the courts of our god those they who are planted in the house of god it says they shall be like a tree that is planted by the riverside what a tree it doesn't wait for rainy season or dry season it it is constantly in a place of supply it says whose leaves does not wither and whatsoever he doeth prospers so i am encouraging you not only should you come and be born again and not only should you bring people to be saved as profitable uh, as profitable as that is you must encourage people to be planted in the house of god when you are encouraged to be planted in the house of god it's not just a search for crowd you should know that by now it is a desire to have people grounded in righteousness no student just strolls and goes for lecture or goes to school today and then leaves and then resumes after two years and then one day just does one week and then leaves you're not going to become an effective student that way it takes discipline and it takes diligence so let me encourage all of us who are here and then as many who are following and we who are here we we owe ourselves the duty to be disciplined as far as it has to do with the house of god knowing that when you come to the house of god number one you are not doing the man of god a favor number two you are not doing the church or the ministry a favor it is your own destiny you are the one who is planted that will flourish are we together praise the name of the lord so thank you so much aside from those under the anointing please i like you to please follow the counselors they are waving the placard just follow to my right now which is your left all other overflows please do same let's celebrate them as they go those under the anointing will just guide them carefully we have a lot to do and we're going to be very very fast now right where you are seated everyone please begin to pray mention the things that you desire for god to do in your life tonight go ahead and pray please pray everyone pray we're here for a miracle service holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome 
in this place are you praying holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and unto you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb upon there are cries of adoration I see men from every nation lift their voice to make your glory known. Singing, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, Lord. Holy, Holy, Holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Lift your hands to Jesus. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. now just two instructions very quickly and then we'll be very fast please listen i want the ushers and all those to collect the prayer requests please if you are here it's usually our culture when we come for the miracle service to write down our expectations in a prayer request and if you are yet to do that let me just give you a minute very quickly to do that those following online if you're yet to submit your prayer request from across the nations of the earth please do that very quickly you can send it and let's collate everything right away you can have a minute or two to do that very quickly or in case you've written yours but for some reason your doubt and your fear did not allow you to include certain things now under this atmosphere of faith do well to write and add because everything you have written in the name of jesus will become your testimony yeah. now when you write that here's what i want you to do so that we maximize time i'd like you when you're done to pass it to the last person either at the left or right i'll just pass it to someone and they lift it up so that it makes it easy for the ushers no one is reading your prayer request is between you and the lord jesus once you are done please pass it very quickly so that the ushers can have it and if they are yet to come to your area just be patient now there are three things that i'm going to do very quickly 
and i want you to participate maximally in all of them number one is the prayer of deliverance what is deliverance deliverance is a spiritual activity that separates you from every influence that impedes your advancement it could be a spirit influence or it could be a situation it doesn't necessarily have to do with separating you from a spirit even though most of times it is spirit related but there are influences that have refused to allow us to make progress and i'm about to rebuke those spirits and rebuke those influences that's number one will take out time to minister because i can tell you this most of the things you have written in your prayer request it is this stage of this ministration that will solve them when the spirit influences that are back of these things are lifted from your life you will find out that doors begin to open supernaturally number two number two i'm going to be ministering to the sick by the power of the holy spirit and please listen to me if you came here expecting healing whether for yourself or for your loved one i want you to release your faith as i make declarations by the spirit of god remember my teaching i want you to connect by faith and somewhere in the course of the service we're going to give an opportunity for those who have been marvelously touched by the hand of god and it's not just those who have been healed from sicknesses alone those who have been delivered even when you stand up when you are brought out don't just stand up and walk away something would have happened to you note what has happened to you and when it is time some of you can have visionary encounters even while the meeting is going on all kinds of supernatural activities that is the second thing i will minister to the sick concurrently as this is happening the third would be the prophetic even though because of time many times we limit this operation as i speak to you and declare over you i want you to believe with all your heart i have taught you here that the prophetic is both revelatory and creative the revelatory dimension of the prophetic brings you comfort it brings you direction it builds your faith the creative dimension of the prophetic makes things to manifest that have no business manifesting are we together now and so we're going to have this and then pray and then we'll be done please i'd like you to open up your heart and allow this experience to be a rich one especially if this is your first time coming for koinonia let it be an experience that no one will tell you about let your heart be open this is the time of the meeting where there should be no distractions whatsoever your heart should be opened and then you receive hallelujah praise the name of the lord and so i'm going to pray for you right now as always there are spirits that remain dogged over tying down the destinies of men coming to you as dreams coming to you as visions coming to you as manifestations causing delay causing hardship causing retrogression embargoes of disfavor resting on people i'm about to pray for you and as i pray for you very quickly the power of god is going to come upon you and ushers please let's let's quickly quickly bring them out in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord now um please bring the person two people that are going to shout right now loud under the power of god in this auditorium the power of god is coming on two people a very very loud shout bring them please let's pray father in the name that is above all names we have come here you have called it a miracle service a service where you are taking burdens yokes from the destinies of men lord there are people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things some of them have prayed some of them have fasted some of them have done everything they know to do and it looks like it is not going but lord i thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name above thrones above dominions every name that is named and as your people shout 
at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus hear me i tell you there is fire burning here as you shout that name inside and outside the power of god is going to rest upon you and everything that is not of the christ must leave your destiny now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of jericho must go down are you ready one two three shout jesus now every stranger every foul spirit go now come out of their destinies now in the name of jesus please bring them out very quickly i decree and declare lose them now and let them go lose their destinies now by the fire of the holy ghost lose them now and let them go in the name of jesus we are still praying there are families that have been tied down that nothing good will come out of you right now i decree and declare i'm seeing at least 21 people belonging to this case by the power that raised christ from the dead one more time you will shout jesus may that fire rest upon you every altar that is speaking against your family that you will not rise that you will not shine it is destroyed right now one two three shout jesus in the name of jesus be destroyed be destroyed every embargo of darkness in the name of jesus please bring them out by the power of the holy ghost never the same never the same never the same in the name of jesus i'm praying look at me please there are people i'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of disfavor now you are moving physically you may not see it but there is an embargo on you people and things that should help you just ignore you as if you are not there i don't know who belongs to that category but right now in the name of jesus may that power come upon you now i declare that that yoke that embargo of disfavor upon your life is broken now 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 hananta shadabalakoto suto badakata kratike de bakata i'm still seeing fire fall on people i'm still seeing fire fall on people the lord is is focusing on families right now i'm saying it again every family that has not advanced you have done the best you know to do educated but not advancing exposed but not advancing surrounded by helpers but not advancing at the count of three as you shout that name i decree and declare everything sitting on the advancement of your family it must be cleared out of the way are you ready don't be tired one two three shout jesus those barriers be broken help them please my god help that gentleman be broken now be broken now be broken now please help the ushers whether you are an usher or not they are overwhelmed if someone is near you just have to bring them out please help the ushers in the marvelous name of jesus listen to me i want to pray for you i want to pray for you there are families that have not experienced ease the things that should be easy there are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house 10 years and it's not like they are lazy everything they try to do it looks like there is no way i am praying for you there's a reason why i ask you to bring them out please help us and ministering to them in the name of jesus the spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone 
right now i command that spirit in the name of jesus let them go now let them go now let them go now let them go now, let them go now. bring them out let them go now Please bring them out now watch this there was a woman in the bible that all the men in their life her life were dying mysteriously she was called the widow at name the husband that she had mysteriously died the last son that represented her future also died and while they were taking him out of the gate jesus stopped them and said no it's not over what in the world is happening here the men who would grant us strength and security and fortification there is this this lady waving her hands that one i'm seeing oil coming on your head my dear right now i decree and declare be released now in the name of jesus christ now be released by the power of the holy spirit Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Holy Ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death. You see, you hear me keep saying this thing. This embargo of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here appointed to death, that there is an embargo of death, that you will not see the end of the year. All your family members are pakatoshkata. Some of you have seen it in dreams. You lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, may the fire of God rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from the sword, be delivered from accidents, be delivered from terrorism. Joseph who is Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph Joseph this is what I'm hearing I presume there may be many people with that name Joseph where are you from where are you from Please don't just come out at random or pray. I can imagine how many Josephs will come out. Now, please hear me. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of his life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't come out at random eh, so that we can walk with time. There are two of you here that have the call of God on your life. Fire is coming on you now. The Lord is saying it's a new dimension in ministry. Among the Josephs that are here, in the name of Jesus Christ, new level, new level, new dimension. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are drinking of a very strong wine. Parakatosh lakata. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. New grace. Kadish Kadibala. Kebro Katos Kate Barakatos Kate Bandakata. Kebro Skoto Shapira Koskati Adakata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Paruga Toskati Bariga de Balakosia. Kogi State. Who is Halima? I'm hearing the name Halima. It's like you are from Kogi State. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. 
for all of you that what's your name where are you from come stand here you're in abuja here i want what do you do i want to pray for you because god is bringing deliverance to your family i don't know you i don't know anything about you but i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit i declare that it is a new season right now yeah. who is innocent innocent i'm hearing the name innocent your name is innocent 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 who is innocent the man i'm seeing is, a, is I'm, i don't know if you're an old man but i'm seeing gray hair the innocent i'm seeing you are wearing like a is it light green or something kaftan light green is there someone like that innocent your life is about to change where is he come oh he said an old man come please let, let me I'll, I'll pray for all of you but where is he coming from outside are you his wife give her the mic huh where was he his name is innocent yes, you're welcome sir please come <laughs> sir i want to pray for you i believe in the power of the holy spirit madam i want you to cheer up god is going to turn your life around in a way that will stop no you don't have to kneel please stand i don't know you you see this thing is not like it's a it's human calculate you can't calculate these kinds of things it, it has to be of the spirit praise the lord who works in a bank here bank anyone i'm seeing i just saw the name uba uba this is what i just saw uba that should be the name of a bank is there anyone like that not not just in front here uba oh uba the lord is bringing i will pray for you but i'm seeing a gentleman it's not a lady i'm seeing but then i will pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be increase for you right now in the name of jesus christ supernatural increase by the power of the holy spirit baba let me pray for you and your dear wife and then i'll pray for everyone innocent too sir okay i'll pray for you um there's someone here don't be embarrassed i'm not calling him bad but your brother has been stealing like there's the spirit of theft the house is tired everybody is tired god wants to deliver him now who is that person this boy has been stealing there is if you hide anything anywhere it's like word of knowledge where who is that please please don't come out here if we're, we're serious don't no don't stop them if, um if if you are the one don't worry god will touch you we're going to make um, um please let's just be sure that we're i'm not saying you suspect he's a thief or a car. he's somebody that everybody including him you know that they are stealing this thing is a spirit can i tell you this once people cannot control certain things, even though they know it's wrong it's a spirit are we together now you see how these evil spirits work you hide money they will steal it they come out of prison they go back again i know a gentleman years ago who his mother cost him that until rat stop stealing he will not stop stealing yes sir when when he gets to the prison they don't even ask him a question he will just go in because they already know that this guy is there they come and bail him out you mean all these people are you the ones who have is it that it's a challenge you hold on please let's let's time is against us so we have to make sure we our efforts are not wasted praise god is it that you are the one who is struggling with it no problem there's huh all of you your brothers 
they steal now you look at this ladies and gentlemen how in the world do you survive with these kinds of things now it does not always mean that the people are bad it's a spirit i'm going to pray for you and for some of you let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you but if it's happening to more than one or two or three people in your family chances are that you may also be a victim of it because it's a pattern like don't be embarrassed but two of you now as i'm speaking the power of god is going to come on you and you'll be delivered from this same thing now even before your loved ones just believe i'm a man of god i'm like a, a doctor once you lie down on the bed of surgery you don't tell the doctor what to do you just lie down and let them operate you once they are done they will ask you to come up two of you the power of god is called i just saw that light because some of you it, it these things they are patterns help them you see it now i'm not saying you are thieves i'm just saying this is a spirit just because it caught someone first does not mean it will leave the rest it will attempt everybody in that family there are two people there's one more this is one one of you the power of god is coming on you you have to be free from this demonic thing if not you will be surprised that one day you will just be a victim of this thing and it will embarrass you somewhere in the name of jesus christ why are they here again please any other person even if is the person stealing himself just stay back and release your faith right there this is a whole family or you are coming from outside okay lift your hands all of you who are in front here please i like you to believe don't condemn your brothers don't condemn anyone daddy let me prophesy to you first please look at me sir in the name of jesus you will not die i'm not a prophet of doom i'm only speaking because i looked at you and the next thing i saw a coffin and the lord is saying i should rebuke it in the name of jesus i don't know whether there's currently an infirmity or whatever it is but may the lord himself preserve you the fullness of your days you will fulfill in the name of jesus and for everyone here for the various reasons why you came out including loved ones who are challenged in this area with any and all forms of addiction i don't this fair lady i keep seeing light all over you i'm seeing the power of god coming on you this lady in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit something is leaving you i'm seeing that miracle happening to you in the name of jesus be free now not just for you but for your entire family now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god now everyone who is here wherever your loved ones are who are are victims of this this theft and whatever it is i declare their deliverance now i declare their deliverance now and please hear me let me use these ones and pray for anyone here who is under any kind of yoke of addiction different kinds of addictions for you or for your family members in the name that is above all names that power of addiction that seems to have control over you let it be broken now 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 in the name of jesus christ and for everyone here you will go back and you will return with testimonies in jesus name i pray god bless you please return rejoicing very quickly justina oh dear our time i'm hearing the name justina who is justina justina where are you coming from i'm here in abuja no state of huh? i want to pray for you you believe in the power of god yes look at me your family has been under siege god wants to bring marvelous deliverance to your family lord jesus i'm praying what god says to one he's saying to everybody in the name of jesus over this family the power of god is coming on you now let there be deliverance now in the name of jesus christ everything that represents an oppression over this family it comes to an end in jesus name you too justina can i pray for you in the name of what do you do What do you mean construction? 
building maintenance, basically. Where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. What is the name of the this this Chinese company? CC. The Lord is going to connect you to somebody in that place. Look at me. Believe what I'm telling you. And go to your secret place and write this name down. Sahara. Just write it. Sahara. Go and write it down. A time will come. Somebody, a lady from that place. God is going to connect you to her. And they will lift you. Sahara. That's the name I'm seeing on you. Just go and write it down. This, this is like... This is, this is an, a company that it looks like they're into gas, oil and gas. Go and write it down. Believe what I'm telling you. You just go and write it. Sahara. Go and write the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord change your life. May the Lord turn your life around. In Jesus' name. All of you, the same thing. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, one of you has severe stomach pain. Like it comes. Who is that person? Severe stomach pain. Place your hand there. Um, what I'm seeing is not good but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare every planting that is not of the Lord now let it go in the name of Jesus out of her now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare let her be delivered right now and for all of you who are here standing whether for yourselves or your family members in Jesus name let there be liberty now in Jesus brother and sister father and sister it's okay I'm going to pray for you there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burden you have carried for in the sanctuary now listen i'm going to raise that song one more time and the power of god will begin to move just for you people that's the instruction i'm receiving that's why i raise the song there is a state anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness my god the lord is bringing deliverance now oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary Oh, come lay down the burdens you pour in the sanctuary. Right now, I declare, let that fire move across in the name of Jesus upon every one of you you are standing for yourself you are standing for your loved ones at the count of three may that fire rest on you right now one get ready two three take that fire now 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 in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god take that fire now for you and for your loved ones be delivered be set free in the name of Jesus now hear me two of you who came out to stand here you are receiving an anointing is the call of God upon your life two of you two of you right now I don't know where you are I release that anointing right now two of you take that fire take that fire take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ father all those who have suffered from bipolar dementia and every other related medical condition 
whether you are here or for your loved ones we rebuke the spirit behind it and we declare be healed now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ god bless you please return to your seat please everyone rise i want to pray for the sick right now even though um we're already on with the healing but we can't call everybody case by case if you can't please stand release your faith right now i want to pray for you please stand just lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle please believe that this one the power of god will touch you as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit bring that lady lift your hands fire upon you now jesus i believe jesus there is healing in your name as i pray for you please listen i truly believe in the healing ministry i believe in the power of jesus to heal you're standing for yourself you're standing for your loved ones as i pray do not forbear with anything that is an infirmity whether it's a growth in your body whether it's for someone you can also stand in for your loved ones as i pray all i want you to do is to agree with me with a loud amen and here's what we have to do i want us to be out of here as soon and as fast as possible so please do well to cooperate i'm going to pray for you a simple prayer of faith and i'm going to rebuke that spirit the moment i do that for those who have been under the anointing and those who the power of god will come on you don't have to bring them out i want you to check yourself very quickly the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you aside from those who testified at first i want you very quickly you can come out either to my left or my right there'll be a few pastors who will check you just look at you and we'll have one or two uh, testimonies and then we'll pray over the request i speak over your life and then we're done i'm glad that bishop is here and um pastor from the u.s i'll give them a minute or two to just join faith with me and declare over you let's just stand in faith and then when that is done um we'll wrap up the service now lay your hands please very quickly he is able more than able in the name of jesus christ please shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i decree and i declare every spirit that is back of any disease here any sickness any infirmity in the name of jesus christ i command let god's people go now yes. my god some of you will be feeling that that fire is just coming upon you going through your body as i'm praying right now is the healing power of jesus right now in the name of jesus be healed 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 be restored be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition here i declare be healed now ulcers be healed now visual impediments whether total blindness or partial blindness i declare be healed now anyone with deafness whether on one or both ears in the name of jesus be healed now cardiovascular challenges i decree and declare heart palpitations holes in the heart every kind of heart infection in jesus name be healed now high blood pressure 
be healed now low blood pressure be healed now migraine headaches be healed now epileptic seizures be healed now anyone here with the issue of blood be healed now pile I declare be healed now inability to sleep I decree and declare right now you find rest once and for all if there is anyone having any growth in any part of your body from your head to your feet in the name of Jesus wherever that growth is located whether as a lump in the breast as every devil around your abdominal region right now that growth disappears in Jesus name disappears in Jesus name disappears in Jesus name there is someone I don't know who you are but it's like you have something in your I don't know if it's in your head but some some tumor like infection in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is let there be healing right now I'm seeing someone's um, your 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 knee is like it shifts it just shifts like this and returns back I declare let there be stability right now every kind of skeletal challenge from your head to your toe whether it's your vertebra whether it's any part of your body your skeletal system let there be perfection right now and for some of you let there be recreation right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone your fingers you can't move them like this like I'm moving mine in Jesus name the power of God is coming on you right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ right now you'll begin to move it i'm seeing someone is it a boil or some swelling just around your armpit area sorry to embarrass you but in the name of jesus christ i declare i cause that demonic boil it goes now now I, I've prayed this before God has revealed this to me I don't know if it was here in Koinonia or in another meeting a, a woman who is not with child and yet you are lactating I don't know the name of the medical condition but you are not with a child and yet you are producing breast milk I don't know but in the name of Jesus I declare let there be healing right now let there be healing right now now God is showing me um someone you you have severe tiredness if you walk for five minutes you have the tiredness of someone who probably has been running for a long time you have to look for somewhere to rest it's like your energy depletes very fast in jesus name the lord is doing a miracle in your body the lord is doing a miracle in your body the lord is doing a miracle in your body in the name of jesus now every other condition whether i mentioned it or not in jesus name whatever it is that ails you whatever it is that discomforts you let there be a miracle for you now now very quickly please those who are coming from outside to testify protocol security allow them so they can rush and come i want you to check yourself from the start of the service aside from those who have testified the moment you find out that a miracle has happened for you and you want to testify please check yourself don't be afraid don't be ashamed I want you to leave your seat very quickly and come and stand here people are coming out people are coming out are you seeing what Jesus is doing celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come don't be afraid come run to Jesus make sure your request is here while they are coming out please for those coming let's very quickly very quickly and oh what joy that fills my soul
something happen and now I know he touched me and made me whole quickly quickly my tema kona my tema kona my tema kona my tema kona Bazanji soro ba Bazanji kunya Keep coming Matei makona Matei makona Matei makona Matei makona Matei makona Bazanji soro ba are you ready yes please please listen very carefully to the testimonies and let's glorify jesus yes sir please help us technical okay immediately you mentioned also the pain disappeared immediately also how long my dear in the name of jesus lay your hands there i declare perfection for you now by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly Oh, the lady who was here, yes. she was vomiting. Yes, and now she was just struggling for the chips that I had in my bag. And after some time, she just uh, uh, pulled and it was washed. There was something like worms in it. And after that, I like, breastfed and she said, That's it. That's all. Oh, come on. Look at this. I decree and declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Wow. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Yes, please. Please help us with the sound. Is there something wrong? Please. Yes. Swelling in your eyes. And right now, what happened? Completely gone. Let's celebrate Jesus. No miracle is big. No miracle is small. Every miracle is a reflection of the power of Jesus. Yes, please. I tried things in the hand for the past three months. Severe pain. But when you mention the case, lift it now. Down, she can move the hand. Any pain, my dear? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, every other area of your life bound, let it be released right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's celebrate Jesus. Pain in the chest for the past two weeks. She's not been able to bend. But now. You've not been bend. able to bend. Bend down now. Any pain? any pain completely gone in jesus name you are healed and perfected yes please consistent migraine she had a deeper one because of the service let her talk i had when i came in i thought it's because of hunger i removed my glasses went and got food but the seal didn't go but the moment we started praying after i fell under the anointing it has completely gone it will never return to you again in jesus name i pray yes please praise god okay yes sir Pain. Yes. Okay. But coming here, I can't eat it. I couldn't sit like for too long, so I'll sit and stand and after the prayer, I just felt like not seeing. Check yourself. Any pain. It's completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Next person. Yes. So I've taken drugs, different drugs, yes. So last week when I came, I started feeling the hotness. So I went to this year's hand. I was certain positive the ulcer. So today, I couldn't feel the pain. Though I came here with the hotness, but now the hotness, the pain, everything. Completely. Lay your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, ulcer, leave her never to return again. And all the effects, the heat around your body, let it go never to return in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned the case of the maker. She said she has had the challenge for the past three months. She could not, sometimes she would have to hold her leg. Stand up, even the rails. If I have to um, come upstairs or go down, I have to hold the rails. Wow. 
and then when I sit down to stand up, I have to hold something to stand up. Okay, and right now, check yourself. I'm free. Completely. Koinonia, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here? In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Most of memory, you mentioned the dementia. Case. You? He was here, he fell under the anointing and he said something left him. What happened? Let me hear him. I have a severe loss of memory. For How like, long? For like four months now. Wow. Yes. Loss of memory, you mean? Yeah, I, I, I can hardly remember things. It's okay. very severe. But um, today I copied a lot of notes. I immediately called for dementia. I, I ran out. And when you were praying for me, um, the power of God came over me and I saw, felt something like a heat left my No, head. the devil is a liar. How yeah. can a fine young man like this have loss of memory? I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise God. There's this growth in my throat that comes out in front of a doctor. As in, it goes and comes Come over. again? In front of a doctor. A growth on her throat, a growth. Okay. It comes and goes. It's over five years now. And today, I keep, for the past, let me just say, for the past one week now, I've been feeling as in this heaviness in my, like, as if I'm carrying a load. And, and, and what happened now? And I can't talk very clear. But now I feel relieved. Completely. Yes. Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that demonic thing leaves you now and forever. In Jesus' name. I want to hear Mama's testimony. Let me hear Mama's testimony. Okay. Praise the Lord. When we came here this morning, she couldn't walk. She couldn't even stand on her own. But Mama could not stand on her feet. She couldn't. But after the ministry, so we can now see she's... Can she walk? She's, yeah, she can Mama, walk. Mama, try walking. Walk. She, can now walk. she came here, she couldn't walk, she couldn't stand. Koinoni, are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Lord, even her head was very heavy, but that, at least now you can you can look at this dear woman and know that the devil is wicked. You can see what he's doing. Lay your hands on she's your mom. Yes, she's Please lay your hand on her head. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, let there be perfection by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, everything from it's the crown of your head to even to the soles of the your Lord. Feet, that I edify the body of Christ at this strategic seasons of my life Amen and, and this time around it was no exception except that it was not communicated as effective as I would have preferred it to and um, because of that please let me your attention all the overflows those following from everywhere just five ten minutes let me do a quick recap and then we'll get into the business of the night I brought to our understanding three strong messages number one was concerning our love for Jesus Christ that was the first message that the Lord gave me for everyone but particularly for the body of Christ that we must re-examine the level and the quality of our love and our passion for Jesus Christ it matters that we love Jesus it matters that we prioritize him above every other thing don't just say i love jesus he's, he asks a question he says simon but jonah john 21 lovest thou me more than these it's not enough to say i love jesus you must prioritize him above money prioritize him above career above anointing above bible study Bible study is not Jesus. Prayer is not Jesus. Heaven is not Jesus. The throne room is not Jesus. Jesus is a person. He is Lord. He must be lifted and exalted above all these things. Praise the Lord. So this is the first call. Just by way of recap, we must be passionately in love. This has been my drive um, to the body of Christ for many years. That we must come to a point where we truly truly love him we must love him with everything that we have this is what the bible says i'm deep in love with you abba father i'm deep in love with you lord 
come deep in love with you precious jesus i'm deep in love with you lord just sing it one time from your heart i'm deep in love with you abba father i'm deep in love with you lord may that be your hunger forever I'm deep in love with you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Listen, in this end time, there are realms that not even prayer warriors can get there. There are realms that not even war giants can get there. It is a realm where only lovers it says no eye has seen revelation cannot take you there nor ear heard neither has it come into the heart of anyone what god has in store not for them that pray not for them that go to church not for them that fast but them that love him you can do all of these activities from a religious standpoint i challenge you in all your doing and in all your living love jesus don't just say i love god god means many things we're talking jesus the one who has been exalted today who is both lord and christ and perhaps you are here you came for koinonia you are in any of the overflows down to the basement outside following from all across the world you're yet to make this decision somewhere in the course of my teaching i'm going to be making an altar call and when you hear that call do not harden your hearts the bible says run like there's fire on the mountain when that call is made and come to jesus and begin a real journey that has eternal value our love for jesus the second thing very quickly that i spoke about on friday was a call to effective living the Lord began to put a burden in my heart. There are many, many people who are not living effectively. Effective living means living with intention and living with a sense of purpose and destiny. The Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow there are so many people this is take it as a miracle service message too effective living gallivanting from pillar to post and the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing else is growing there has to be a call to effective living it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me we must trust god for grace to bring to end this living of nonchalance and lack of purpose and intention rigmaroling and freelancing around life what are you living for nothing what are you pursuing nothing what is the project destiny project you are embarking on part time nothing especially to my generation of young people we must obtain grace to sit down and i love social media I, I believe it is a blessing but in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty part of the miracles that we must receive tonight is the grace to manage our lives as far as internet social media and all these things are concerned don't misunderstand me i believe there is a blessing to these things if managed there is a dangerous spirit of destruction that is literally eating on people the unit of destiny is time whatever you give your time to you are giving part of your life to and you must be sure and insist that you are giving part of your life to what is worth it i'm amazed at the extent of visionless living that we have in our society 
we must trust God for grace to live effectively I learned effective living from Dr. Miles Monroe bless his heart buy books that teach you how to live effectively have goals for your life have projects per time per season that you're embarking on run away from a life that does not have something motivating you you cannot freelance through life and want to live victoriously hallelujah a great man said at the end of our lives there are two things we are going to be remembered for the problems we solved the solutions that we birthed or the problems we created we used to sing a hymn those days in the seminary it says thus till we pass um how, how does how does he put it only to be remembered by what we have done you must make sure that your life is governed by three factors number one the fear of the lord number two conscience number three a sense of posterity and then number three which was quite an important one that i spoke about in that broadcast was the need for a greater sense of love and unity within the body of christ the holy spirit has put this burden in my heart for years and it's been my advocacy for a long time that the body of christ as a corporate entity as the bride of christ needs to come into a higher and more intentional level of unity there is so much we can do as a united force there is so little we can do as individuals there are dimensions of the glory and the power of god that cannot be birthed by a single individual no matter how effective it will take the corporate body to be able to reveal that dimension of god and here and there you hear teachings that attempt to bring a greater sense of cohesion within the body of christ but i think that um we shouldn't just talk about unity but we should help to supply a few keys and so i thought that in this broadcast i would bring two or three keys that would help the body of christ come into a sense of unity these are the keys that without them i do not see um the project for unity and love as a project that is doable without these keys let me run through these three keys are you interested key number one is for the body of christ to come into a sense of love and unity we will need the practice we will need to introduce the practice of mutual honor as a value system it is impossible to attain unity in an atmosphere of dishonor or when honor is not mutual for a long time the trend in the body of christ has been individualism and this sense of bitterness sarcasm hatred over one ministry one pastor one we we have to grow and mature beyond this point this is what the holy spirit was sent to do in our lives and to do in his body the practice of mutual honor as a value system don't go around insulting men of god insulting churches contrasting people causing trouble for men of god comparing this one is more anointed than this this one is more blessed you there will always be trouble when there is no sense of mutual honor are we together yes everyone who is called by god in ministry in business we just finished a series on witnesses everyone has a call and within the limit of their call election and assignment they are deserving of honor politicians deserve their honor for the sacrifice of formulating policies and leading the nation business people deserve their honor for helping to bring development across a territory and to supply financial resources men and women of god spiritual leaders generally speaking they are deserving um, of honor 
for connecting a territory to faith and helping to shape the spiritual convictions of people within a territory career people are contributors to nation building contributors to destiny until we come to a point where we are unashamed about acknowledging the contribution of one another and to lavishly and honestly and truthfully communicate honor there cannot be unity in the body of christ by the time i come and stand here and attempt to outshine every man of god here we have great ministers of the gospel scattered here in the overflows many following online imagine that i downplay them i downplay their relevance i rubbish what they are doing and make it look as though they are not serious with god i am the one let me tell you how you know you are in error the moment it looks like you are the only one who is right is a sign that you are under attack do not fall into the attack of elijah elijah said i am the only one and god said nonsense there are seven thousand others who have not bowed are we together we must have that greater sense of cohesion you are a music minister don't come and laugh at another music minister oh this one is this this one is that we must obtain grace and maturity both spiritual and psychological to grow past this realm of childishness there is need to practice mutual honor i look forward to times when men of god can sincerely appreciate themselves can i tell you this it is it is not news that the body of christ has different dimensions of problems and troubles it is solving from excesses here and there to doctrinal issues to personality issues of men of god these things are not new are we together now none of them is a reason enough to bring hatred jealousy backbiting most of this hatred and jealousy in the body of christ it didn't come because of ministry it came because of a background of deprivation a background where we seem to not have made it and so we look forward to platforms to vent those things out and then we mix them and make it look like it's the holy spirit making us act that way no the holy spirit is never to be blamed for those attributes of the flesh it is the dimension of us that has not yielded to his renewal that is tampering with the anointing he gave us and is producing a mix of results we must learn to honor one another can i tell you this we must honor the fathers of faith you don't honor a father because he's flawless or perfect you honor a father because that position warrants your honor forever we have to be careful some of these mistakes we keep making around and just because nothing seems to be an obvious consequence we think there is no consequence every father of faith within this nation is deserving of honor and then we must honor our contemporaries listen i must admit something and we must all admit it also the truth is that we are equal in christ but we are not equal in results we are not equal in grace it is an uncomfortable truth that we must admit the election of grace alongside the sacrifice of alignment has separated us into cadres of possibilities we cannot downplay that however we must look past those things look past crowd look past revelational prowess look past prophetic power look forth look past the grace for miracle signs and wonders and be able to meet someone and shake the person even if it is 10 members that he has how are you sir how is the work you are doing and usually you say ah you are the ones doing the work you have all the crowd there be wise enough to say no we are co-laborers provided there is one soul that you are a pastor over it is worth to god that one soul is still worth the blood of jesus you see when you maintain that disposition the likelihood that that person will criticize you and be jealous and be envious is no longer there because you have let that person know that you equally appreciate what they are doing we must honor the fathers we must honor our contemporaries in ministry and we must also honor our sons 
our daughters and our mentees if you honor the fathers alone and disregard your contemporaries and your mentees you are a hypocrite the bible says honor all men can i tell you this we are sons and thank god for the privilege of raising other sons and mentees but when you fight sons and fight mentees and don't appreciate what they are doing whether with you or not god will help them grow when they grow without your contribution do not expect loyalty from them let me tell you this fatherhood demands that you are patient with sons they will make mistakes they will do stupid things that's what it means the the condition to be a father is that you must be ready to take a lot of nonsense from sons that's what makes you a father don't discourage younger ministers coming they will you will see pride you will see flesh you will see carelessness your assignment as a father is to be able to call them rebuke correct but show love let them know that you believe in what they are doing we have we have this attitude of using our progress to bully people who are coming up in ministry when a young man says i'm getting into ministry we who god has helped a bit usually we come with this sense of sarcasm what do you know what are you doing they will make mistakes they should learn it's better for your sons and daughters to make mistakes in your lifetime as a father where you can correct and build them and be sure of the product you are releasing to the world this is not a, a, a license for licentiousness sons and daughters should also behave well because if you are learning you should be growing are we together we must be patient honor the fathers honor our contemporaries and co-laborers we must also honor the ones who god is helping to come up the little children you watch the video of my dear children here azaria children who were singing those little children are the prophets the apostles of tomorrow many many parents both spiritual and natural are being punished today because of their insensitivity to reach down to another generation and help them if you were not there when i was in the cave of adulam don't expect an invitation when i'm sitting on the table of greatness we must be there for people and grow with them not just show up in their success and want a stake in their lives this is a message to the body of christ there is no tell them it's a message to everybody let's honor the fathers my fear listen I, i'm speaking by the privilege of the apostolic grace my fear now again is the kind of sons and mentees that we are raising we have to be very careful and be sure that we are raising people who love the lord the level of pride the level of of self-centeredness carnality that is rising every young man right now just because you can preach or prophesy you can insult anybody it ought not to be so we must restore honor to the body we are not stupid people christianity is not a blind religion just because we're in christ does not mean our common sense was taken away even our natural heritage teaches us that respect and honor pays are we together now that is the first key that will produce unity the ability to salute people you are a man of god don't sit down and gather sons and daughters and be talking about men of god all over castigating people no let me tell you this one of the ethics of fatherhood is that you must gauge the spiritual level of the people who are within your mentorship there are certain discussions and there are certain information that you should not expose younger believers to these are discussions of fathers you now bring people who are just starting the faith and you discourage them or you plant pride in them and then sons and daughters you have a responsibility to protect and uphold your fathers don't join the head of men of god and cause trouble for people around oh man of god i went somewhere they spoke about you oh man of god they, this is the trouble that most people bring upon the body of christ we are god's bride and we must you be united and appreciate ourselves like i was saying i look forward to times when a man of god will be organizing a crusade or a program and another man of god will write off a check for buses or sound and say i do not know you i just know that what you are doing 
is going to glorify the name of the Lord. Here is my contribution. Noiseless contribution. Genuinely. Not the type you close the door and say, don't mind them. No. When someone comes around you to gossip and talk about men of God, rebuke him. Then tell him, let's pray. Let's be careful. It is a word of warning because there are spiritual consequences listen this house as a principle we are people of honor you will never hear me open open up stand here and mention the name of any man of god and castigate and criticize that is not the ministry we are giving we are giving the ministry to preach christ yes we will challenge wrong doctrines yes we have our value system as individuals and as a ministry but let me tell you this you want to see the backing of god in your life i'm teaching you the secret you must not only love god you must love the body people will make mistakes people will teach there will be error in doctrine god has granted us grace across different divides and for us who god has helped a bit with either influence or revelatory graces or prophetic power or grace for signs and wonders or leadership we must administer such in the spirit of humility i go to places and when people see me even great people oh apostle god bless you i don't stand and brag my chest and say now you know i'm happy you are recognizing no why did you go through the school of the spirit then you must reciprocate listen when a great man celebrates you understand it is not easy it's not easy for people to stake their reputation and appreciate you and so if and when they do receive it with thanksgiving but have the intelligence to reciprocate are we learning so this is the first key to the unity of the body the second key that i'm proposing and I said that in my broadcast that can help the body to be united is to understand the jurisdictional component of authority. Authority without jurisdiction is dangerous. Yes. We must love the body of Christ. And we must have that ability to understand the jurisdictional component. If one of our little ones here is running around you can hold that one and bring the person because it's within your jurisdiction but you cannot go to the road and just open a door and start flogging an, another person's child and you say you are a disciplinarian it's not done that way it's not your jurisdiction are we are we following now do you know what killed john the baptist in the bible bible students do you know the bible called him the greatest prophet he was the greatest when he stayed within his jurisdiction he had finished his assignment by announcing Christ. He would have stayed with honor. But he went into the issue of talking about Herodias. Why did you marry the wife of this and that? And for that mistake, even though he was a prophet, they jailed him and his head went for it. The way he died, I don't believe that's how God would want to honor someone that way. There is a jurisdictional component to authority. Are we together? The body of Christ will never experience unity when there is no jurisdiction. Ah, this man had a crusade or this man had a seminar. Oh, he didn't do it correctly. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That is not your assignment. If you observe anything that was not done well, go to God in prayer. The prayer altar is there. Pray for them. Are we blessed? Number three, the third key that can promote unity in the body of Christ is outright forbearance. There are certain levels of transformation that may never honestly happen. Pragmatically speaking, you will just need forbearance. I think I've taught it here. The difference between forgiveness and forbearance. Forgiveness means that it's a pardon for something, transgression, trespass forbearance means create a system of accommodation because whatever you have seen will happen again and again and again for instance 
there are men of God who are different there are some of us who are on the arrogant side there are some of us who are on the extroverted side there are some who are very reserved and into themselves are we together now forbearance angry Elijah temperous Moses stammerer Moses are we together slow and annoying Samuel all of them were used by God I hope you know it was Samuel's delay that made Saul to lose his throne are we together yes all those people proud and self-centered Elijah I'm the only one and God said keep quiet yet all of them were used by God and this Bible is very intentional about preserving their exploits and when we get to Hebrews 11 the Bible calls all of them elders for by it it says the elders obtained a good report praise the name of the Lord we need forbearance if your pastor is an angry person pray 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 but while you pray just create forbearance forbearance means expect it and build joy above it don't expect him to change to be happy that is that is not a wise approach and this applies not only to men of God husbands wives and all of that I think I made a statement on on Friday one time I was counseling a couple and the man apologized to the woman for something he had done wrong and he said I promise it will never happen I just told him I said mr. man just stop there I assure you to say it will not happen no madam your own assignment build a system of joy from scripture let his transformation be an added advantage to your joy not the basis for it are we blessed you need to forbear the bible tells us it mandates that we forbear so that you don't get up for instance and go to a church and you find people dancing and jumping and say what rubbish is going on here mm -mm forbear jesus is still there just search for him you can go somewhere else and it looks like nothing is going on there forbear a man of god may be teaching you are used to a man of god being careful and quiet and very calculated you go somewhere and the person is jumping up and down forbear don't just conclude because it's it's not an experience that is similar with the pattern you are used to just because it's a pattern you are not used to does not mean it's not of god we need forbearance <laughs> hallelujah personally you would have noticed that i'm somebody who likes taking unnecessary things out of the way straight to the point opening prayer worship once you are done open fire next program there's no drama and mm -mm. but i mean you, you can't go somewhere and they're acting drama and say they are wasting time no somebody is getting blessed from that drama if he's not blessing you it's because god that's why drama is not the only thing done in the church there is opening prayer if that one does not bless you be patient for worship if worship does not bless you let testimonies bless you if everything does not bless you an altar call is what you need listen i'm not being sarcastic this this is this is a miracle service we're going to leave the issue of sickness and the rest we're coming there but this is a message for the body of christ can I tell you this with all humility by the grace of God there is no there is no major denomination as it were that I have not preached in within this nation Adapt, adaptation is proof of honor you must be able to adapt if you go to a place and they are singing hymns find a hymn book look at the wordings now that you are a christian the wordings will even mean more to you we sang powerful hymns and didn't know what we we're saying i remember those days in the seminary they would ask us to repeat stanza one three five after we are we've sang six stanzas they are come on please why stanza one three maybe verse and finish but now you read the same hymns and you cry and say such power captured in it when you search for jesus in his body you will find him in the midst of the lampstands 
an imperfect lampstand i saw one in the midst of a lampstand jesus himself praise the name of the lord provided we want to walk in unity listen to me we must obtain grace from god to forbear we must obtain grace from god to forbear everybody you see both preachers and members and business people and politicians they are in a state of transformation there is nobody who has graduated from the school of the spirit the school of the spirit is a school that you never graduate while god is using you you are still going through that training we must have a strong sense of forbearance the principles of global leadership demand that you must have a, a strong sense of flexibility you are dealing with people from different cultures different experiences it doesn't forbear does not mean just to allow anything happen no there has to be flexibility are we blessed so the keys to unity mutual honor and then number two understanding jurisdiction as we administer authority and then number three forbearance 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 and then i rounded up that broadcast by expressing my gratitude and i'm doing it again thank you thank you some of you now you are forbearing me isn't it because you are you you came ready for power and shouting i'm tired of these demons tired of them apostle get these spirits out of me just be patient i've taught you forbearance <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord i pray that in our lifetime we will be able to see a greater sense of cohesion in the body i pray that in our lifetime we'll be able to look past our differences and be able to focus on jesus and obtain grace to drive this body to her desired heaven to be greater reflections of the reality of the life the love and the power of jesus are we in agreement Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love be peace. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. When we are your instruments of peace. Father, this is our prayer. Help us as men of God, politicians, and members of the government, career people, family people, all together, build your body indeed and may we be more perfect reflections of your intention for us and i pray that as your people glean from these truths that i have shared may it be a contribution towards kingdom come and yet the more let it be a contribution towards the unity of the body in jesus name amen and amen are you ready for tonight daniel chapter 6 daniel chapter 6 from verse 24 just one scripture and then we'll begin to pray please hold on with daniel chapter 6 please give me joshua chapter 3 and verse 7 the Lord always gives me a word every time during my birthday and the word is not only for me I believe that the word is for everyone connected to this grace so I just thought to read the scripture this is the word the Lord gave me and the Lord said unto Joshua this day 
I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses so I will be with you therefore I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ by extension from today may the Lord begin to magnify you please believe it receive it may the Lord begin to magnify you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit in your field of endeavor in your going out in your coming in the Lord will magnify you in the name of Jesus chapter 4 Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they feared him as they feared Moses all the days of his life I pray for you the result you will begin to command from today by the power of the Holy Ghost I decree and declare in the name of Jesus may your result make people to fear your God financial results spiritual results intellectual results may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ results in ministry results in politics results in family results in your finances in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will make you ten times greater ten times greater in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated God bless you Daniel chapter 6 I sense that there is a strong anointing tonight from verse 24 the Lord is going to be bringing a massive deliverance in this place let me tell you what deliverance is deliverance is a spiritual system by which the saints are separated listen carefully are separated from the obstacles it doesn't always have to be spirits there can be mountains that stand before you the separation between you and any source of impedance whatever it is that sustains the ability to impede your progress in life and in destiny that art of separation is called deliverance are we together Daniel chapter 6 please give it to us verse 24 this was these were the three Hebrew boys now cast into fire and the king Darius now commanded and they brought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions and their children and their wives okay this was the, the story of Daniel now in the lions then and the lions had mastery of them you discern what that means and break their bones in pieces or ever they came at the at the at the bottom of the den uh -huh, next verse and the king wrote to all people nations languages that dwell in all the earth a decree is about to be passed peace be multiplied unto you it says I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel why for he is a living God and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end 27 this is why he is called that God only Savior he is deliverer he can bring you and pull you out of trouble that people have looked at your life and your family can anything good come out of these people can anything good come out of this one that one and God says I am a deliverer I can come and snatch you from from the jaws of the lion listen I truly believe in the power of God to deliver there is a relationship between a separation between you and your obstacles and your prosperity he says I desire to come to you again even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us favor desiring to come to you lifting desiring to come to you Satan can hinder things
hallelujah there are people here under the sound of my voice and following from across the globe the truth is that based on the gifting that god has put in your life the nation should be celebrating you you should not be at this level but there are powers that sit upon men's destinies please give me zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 we're about to pray zechariah 1 18 please pay attention connect those outside the overflows following online zechariah 1 and verse 18 then lifted i up my eyes and saw and behold what did i see four horns a horn is a symbol of authority verse 19 he says and i said unto the angel that talked with me what be these and he answered me these are the horns that have scattered judah my praise scattered israel my covenant scattered jerusalem my peace there are horns that fight your praise there are horns that fight your promise there are horns that fight your peace but the bible says and the lord of peace himself shall give you peace always by all means next verse still on zechariah chapter 1 and verse 20 and the lord showed me four carpenters aha uh -huh. it's never too late for a carpenter never too late for a carpenter you can change the wood you can redesign everything he says what come this to do he's still talking about the horns and he spake saying these are the horns which have scattered judah read with me so that no man did lift up his head oh it can peg your father he is unable to rise even though he went to school even though he went to us this power sits on people's destinies listen let me teach you something about scripture there is what people like ew kenyon will call the legal side of redemption and the vital side of redemption here's how i put it the prophetic dimension of the speakings of god versus their experiential manifestation in god's mind everything is finished including the death of jesus before it happened because he appropriated in the life of believers in god's mind no believer should be poor are there poor believers in god's mind no believer should be sick are there sick believers what makes you think there are no oppressed believers the oppression does not negate the finished work of christ it, oh, as powerful as God is and Jesus is, he did not cast sin out of man. He didn't say the cross, the grave, and trust what defeated sin. So to merely sit down and just assume that everything is all right is the same mistake as someone who hears the gospel and just believes that just because Jesus died, he's automatically saved. He's not automatically saved. The substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus is a reality. Yet till today there are people going to hell. What is their offense? Their offense is that they have not believed and appropriated that truth into their lives. It is so for salvation. It is so. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battles for me. Can I tell you something? Listen to me. For many years in my life, even as a man of God, demon spirits were oppressing me. Not many people will tell you this truth. I'm not saying it to discourage you, and I'm not demeaning the power of Jesus. We stand today by that same power. And because of my prophetic inclination, I would see spirits literally enter my room. I shouted Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name nothing happened because the name is not a charm it works by understanding did the sons of Skiva not mention the same name did the demons go what did they do to the man they even said Jesus I know Paul I know I see their understanding supporting what they are doing. 
Where is your own understanding? There are many believers under all kinds of oppression, stagnated and not manifesting to their fullness of their destinies in Christ. Why? Because they just assume that everything is gone. Why then do you go to the hospital? Why do you visit the pharmacy for drugs? Even though you believe eternal life is at work in you. If someone is sick now and you pray in the name of Jesus and nothing seems to happen, you can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health. Is that true? It does not mean you don't believe in divine health. But hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning. God himself knows that it's a process. I'm a winner man, a winner man. He has won my battle for me. Listen, let me tell you the day my deliverance came. I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me. When that light entered me, I ran. I stood in front of my room then and I shouted. I pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me. I begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned. Listen, when we minister like this, number one, we are not being boastful. Number two, we are not negating what Christ has done. The administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives. This is what the Bible calls faith. The name of the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person. It is always by grace, but it is through faith. Grace is the name given to everything that is in God released to man only through the office of the Christ. That's what we call grace. Mercy is grace. Power is grace. Wisdom is grace. Grace is not unmerited favor. That's just one dimension of it. Grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes God God. It's called grace. But the system of access and delivery is what we must learn. Help that person, please. Help that lady under the anointing. Believers, we must trust God to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims. Help her. There is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there. Because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. So understand, there are many spirits, but this one is that spirit, the Lord. The Lord is that spirit. And where the Lord is, you know he signs that signature by giving men liberty so that a door that has been closed for 90 years your grandfather tried to open till he died there your father tried to open till he oh, it, we are not going to open it we will break it into pieces so that your children too can pass Do you know why Nathaniel said to Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He was not lying. There was an antecedence. There, there was a track record. There are regions where men only rise by eating from others. They never become established. No matter how educated. There are regions where it's the women that feed the men. The husband is the wife and the wife is the husband. Hard-working, diligent people. How about people where doors are open for you? Just when you are seeing it to pick it. Who's seen that this man was born blind? That means there was something Jesus taught them. Immediately they saw this. A good student said, Jesus, you've taught us something. But who's seen? Was it this man or his father? He said, neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed. Can I tell you this? This night I want you to be angry and make up your mind. We have a few minutes tonight. We are going to trust God to have a convocation within this place to walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the Lord. Listen, can I tell you this? I remember many years ago, this was in Zaria. We are about to pray. A precious man of God came to meet me 
and as soon as he entered my room i saw a spirit behind him i was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person i kept quiet and then i told him i said sir can i pray for you i think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately no 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 don't talk to me about oppression i said okay i'm sorry i hope i don't offend you but if you will allow me pray for ah i just want you to agree with me i said no problem let's do the agreement when i held his hand he only got up after how many minutes the kind of deliverance that happened to him see it did not take one week it's like the doors were just opening like this do you know that guy returned back and said apostle what happened upon mount zion listen where does the deliverance happen where does the deliverance happen go to the book of hebrews what is in mount zion the church of the firstborn innumerable rock company of angels that's why deliverance happens zion is the appropriate way for place for deliverance to happen if it does not happen upon mount zion where else does it happen there shall be deliverance and then holiness then the sons of jacob shall possess it will never enter your hand till the resistance have been cleared away i can tell you this hear me there are men of god do you know even over this city there are controlling powers when god sent me to this city i took out quality time signing that spiritual register shakatoske branda katoske lebahashia manta predisit here let me tell you this help them i tell you the truth and forgive me if it sounds like i'm just bragging you can be in a city yet spiritually you are outside that city because the gate is still closed over you you do business in that city you will lose you do whatever in that city you will lose because the two leaf gates have not been parted are you ready to pray i once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden mysteriously wonderful woman people started picking their children away from the school what did she do it was not that okay they got some new teachers and i called her i said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence but let's deal with this there are spiritual things to be dealt with i prayed for that woman i anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere let me tell you this if there is anything i know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airwaves that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what i'm sharing with you because from here now we're going to pray and i'll begin to minister i'm going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night and then we're going to pray for the sick we'll speak over your prayer request this is the sick month the sixth month there has to be an evidence someone promised to help you and lift you and like the wine presser the moment they get out of prison they forget you and their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain i don't know about you if you are all right your children are all right you are already enjoying everything pray for us but as for me and my house make up your mind that father there must be an evidence of your favor your grace but before then hear me there are families that are connected i know what i'm seeing as i'm speaking here so i want your heart to be open as we pray no distraction focus on jesus 
and let's deal with some of these issues hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open please rise up on your feet please rise up on your feet and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross lift your voice and pray are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to be with. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen to me we have a few minutes and we're going to be very very fast but I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We're going to pray for the sick and we're going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names, everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus, one, two three i command that devil out of their lives now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ bring them out by the power that in the name of jesus christ the spirit of delay over individual over family i come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them.
them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain. In the name of Jesus. Chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow. Outside. Following online. Chains be broken. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Who is Deborah? I'm hearing the name Deborah. They call you Deborah. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. There's someone with that name. Just very quickly, I want to speak to you. Deborah. You have a name, Deborah. Who is that person? Let me pray for you. You will never be the same. My life has changed. Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Deborah. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three. Three. One, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos. You are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people, please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now in the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying recurrent sickness coming again. You treat it, coming again. You treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now, out of your destiny. In the name of Jesus. let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ that lady i cast that devil out of her now in the name of jesus christ those of you who are standing please return back to your seats rejoicing where is i don't know if you've gotten the woman i'm seeing in my vision a fair woman you are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. 
I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. Madam, stretch your hands, lift, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus, never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. There is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White white and white i want to speak to that person is there someone like not not just this one it's not is there someone like that you are not in this auditorium you, what's your name sir come and stand here what do you do huh i said you are wearing white and white i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine what do you do i'm a teller sir Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's fear God. There's, there's order in the house of God. Please, if we don't call your case and you come, we'll politely drive you back to your seat. Please, there is order in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I want to pray for you. Madam, I know your husband is following. Don't worry, husband. You don't have to come. Just stand in faith. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the holy spirit there are two people at the back the power of god is coming on them with a loud shout please pick them and bring them out two people at the back i just saw light leaving this place right to the back please bring them my dear i curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry what do you do huh I'm an entrepreneur. Are you a businessman? Yes, sir. What, yes, do you, sir. what do you do? I was actually doing Uber, but I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen, when, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We're a kingdom-driven people, and everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare, we are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God any fraternity with spirit beings please bring them out i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those spirits right now i curse those 
I cross those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? Jane. Like J A N E. I'm hearing a name Jane. We may not have all the time to speak to people one on one. Jane, is there someone like that? Who is gift? Gift. G I F T. Is there someone like that? Gift. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own delight. Hey, hey, hey. Let hope, let it rise. hallelujah we're going to pray the lord is showing me someone your mother your mother is in the hospital right now i'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please My, my dear, look at me. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Madam, what's your name? Okay. I want to pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands over these ones. My God, I'm just seeing fire leaving my hand. I'm just coming to rest on some of you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be liberty right now. Liberty right now. Liberty right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Liberty right now. I cross the walkings of darkness. This is Koinonia, the house of God. I declare liberty right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Help them please. Hallelujah. Ah. Wow. This is serious. Um, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to come out. I'm seeing a woman. You have been pregnant. This is way past nine months. It's like this pregnancy is just continuous, but you will not give birth. Who is that person? This is a very strange situation God is showing me. Every sign of pregnancy, but it's like indefinite pregnancy. You understand what I'm saying? Is there someone like that? In the name of Jesus, please pray. Hallelujah. 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 Why is she here? Why are you here? You are pregnant. There's no pregnancy there now. Pregnant. Physically, not spiritually preg physically pregnant. More than nine months. How many years? How many years? One year, five months. Come and stand here. How many years? One year, nine months. How many years? Give her the mic. This one, I'm seeing one year, nine months written on her. Stand up. This is demonic. How can a human... Hold on, please, madam. It's all right. It's all right. How can a person hold pregnancy for one year, nine months? I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner, man. I'm a winner man, a winner man. My dear, 
hold on look at me look at me let's save time man. stand up let me just minister to you please be patient this night and let god give us a visitation you are married hold on madam don't worry it's all right you are that, um, god has answered your prayer we're going to pray huh? look at this look at me i cost that spirit according to god's design for us there are doctors here women is it not nine months is elephants that carry children for over two years or so not human beings this is witchcraft everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery i command it to clear the way now clear the way now have the free clear the way now clear the way now as soon as zion travails the bible says she shall put forth a son madam let this woman stand up let me pray for her help her just help her madam you're married i lost my husband for my, uh, last year he was poisoned and since then i've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year nine months even if i go to the hospital it's not my first pregnancy look at this you are seeing a pregnant woman this is a pregnant and you go to the hospital so they did not see anything <laughs> stretch your hands pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood in the name of jesus we command every demonic hindrance give way now you have taken all the pain you have taken all the shame you have taken all disappointments you have taken all the worries you have made them yours you have taken all my pain you have taken all my shame you have taken all my sorrow you have taken all the weakness you have made them listen if this is a genuine pregnancy then we declare according to the time of life may you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before god's people and testify you are her sister or daughter who is this your sister oh dear don't cry weep not for the book is open the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now i'm hearing a name asabe a s a b e it's like that's somebody's name is there someone like that i want to pray who is that who has ah. we give you worship worship the highest praise to the king You're welcome madam can i pray for you i want to pray for you my goodness the lord is bringing a miracle 
we are going to pray for the sick shortly but I'm seeing the power of God touching you your body in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not a planting of God roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of Jesus number two madam the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you the month of July call it your month of restoration the Lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life I declare it so in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone here we're going to pray but I'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the Lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer I want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death people are following on air no telling lies no telling lies we are praying for everybody if your father biological father is not a military officer please stay back make sure that you don't just come out at random we are praying now praise the name of the Lord you just come and stand quickly and let's pray please don't be tired God is visiting people ah I just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out I release that grace for speed bring them out there is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of God take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out strength grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we am prophesying by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month speed speed to your life Help them please speed to your life i'm still praying it i'm still seeing that grace rest on people you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life supernatural speed hallelujah there is a man of god here oh dear you have been praying don't come out the power of god will come on you you have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this road this road at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest paros upon your ministry, upon your life. Paros Grace is coming upon you. Signs, wonders. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at what God will do in your life. Grace, you will command signs and wonders in business, in ministry. May the good hand of God come upon you. hallelujah any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ anyone's father who is a military officer in the name of Jesus you will not die in battle I declare supernatural preservation by the power of the Holy Spirit preserved by the good hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ preserved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please
my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you God has located you praise the name of the Lord please don't cry look at me my dear your brother what's his name Benjamin. how many years 35 35 huh. how many years has he been missing two years how about you what's the name of your brother Nandom he's been missing yes sir and my sister Fejiro he has been missing for two years what's his name Fejiro he's a what does he do he just graduated so um, what was he doing he was just doing some jobs all of a sudden just went away and this again okay. well well, on live TV there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet but you see we have to pray for our relatives because sometimes this deception that people bring let's help you get to this country you will get a job you understand what I'm saying and this is what is happening to him but in the name of Jesus the spirit that is making him misbehave is still alive come back home now Can I tell you this? There is no country that has an advantage by default. If the Lord does not go with you, every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it. So just because it's US or UK or Asia does not mean automatically. Now I know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper. But I'm telling you, except God holds a man's hand and helps you in this life, you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday. My sister, where are you from? Yes. I want to pray for you. This prayer is not just for your brother. Let me start with you first. Huh? Shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave you. The spirit that is part of shame and reproach, release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent, sir. You are a real estate agent? Yes, sir. Do your real estate. Yes, sir. But start preparing for ministry. Hmm? Look at me. The call of God was upon your life before real estate. You know that, right? God showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism. Yes, You've sir. seen yourself go to your village. Yes, sir. You are from my place now. Yes, sir. Yes, Prepare. Sir. God yes, is sir. calling you. Do your real estate but then at the same time don't run away from the call of god the call of god is not a cause many of us run away because we think you will not eat so we run away as though god just calls people to rubbish their life he calls us into a life of honor are we together now my friend don't cry i pray that god will help you in your real estate but i also pray that you will answer the call and that god will equip you and he will use you mightily for all our loved ones who are missing, be found in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. This will be the first time I will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since God brought us here. I'm not one person who comes out and says, you know, prophecies and all of that. No, I love the Lord. Whatever we see, we pray. But listen, I'm saying it openly. Pray for Abuja. I will just leave it there. We must pray that God will frustrate the counsel of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that God will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that God will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of God are we together now don't say what I did not say pray 
but you see God has granted us grace and he has put a burden even for the territory I'm not one person who just comes to speak negative but if you hear me say this please pray in the name of Jesus that there will not be a resurgence of bombings and a resurgence of strange kidnapping not of ordinary people but of political figures within the place this is the devil and in the name of Jesus we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass we superimpose it by the power that raised Christ from the dead in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth city. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of light, kings and priests. We declare God's far has come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First, I want you to agree two things in one. Have you written your prayer request? Now, this is what I want you to do very quickly. Please just pass it to pass it. Nobody's reading it to you. Just feel free. Pass it to the last person by maybe the left or the right aisle, whichever. Those, please, all the overflows, let's do the same outside. If you're following from any nation, you can send it to our social media platforms. It's time for us to pray. We're going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones? We believe in miracles. We'll take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus there is healing in your name please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact those following on TV you are following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith connect now by faith every nation every territory we believe in the God that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer request very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you the moment I do that I want you to begin to check yourself and I'm going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God whether you're inside or outside the moment i'm praying some of you whilst you came out here miracles were already happening to you check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened i'd like you to run come and stand by my left or my right whichever there will be people to just check you and we'll take a few miracles then we'll pray over the request and i prophesy over you and we're done praise the name of the lord now lay your hands there and let's pray this is a house of healing this is a house of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ please shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort 
over anyone's body here release them now in the name of Jesus release them in the name of Jesus right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be opened now if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair stand leave that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service and those who are checking themselves now please check yourself very quickly you find out that the power of God has touched you be bold make your way to the front as we celebrate them those from outside if they are coming from outside for healing please allow them come are you celebrating miracles miracles are happening check yourself and make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now in the name of Jesus Christ koinonia is this the best you can do Jesus is touching people touching people from outside quickly quickly it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you, Lord. Please let's let's.
let's take a few testimonies we may not have time to take so much but let the people come please sit for a few minutes whoever is ready yes sir please help us with the mic very quickly let's celebrate a few miracles here and then go ahead also, yes the lord has actually started very fantastic things amongst us hallelujah amen praise god i've had severe abdominal pain for over a year abdominal pain yes and right now also it's gone completely gone yes sir. celebrate jesus place your hand there in the name of jesus go now in the name of jesus christ yes please apostle partial deafness has just been healed my left leg this is the result that's your the test result the test result they told me i have profound loss to total hearing loss and where hearing 25 the both ears and right now Yes, he made mention, he specifically mentioned that of the left ear, and the left ear was the one that had the worst result. Look, and and right now, it's open. From the back. Give Jesus hear, praise. Come on. My God. I stretch my hands, and I declare perfection on your ears. It never returns again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. These two people, they've had severe back pain. Back pain? Back pain. They For how long, bend. sir? They couldn't bend. Six months now. Six months. My God, Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Now they can bend comfortably. Bend. And Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Both this, of you. This one of our medical officials too. Oh, <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh dear. Beautiful. So now God will heal you, and then you get to your work. One of our medical people has been healed too by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen everyone receives in this house i stretch my hands let there be miracles right now in jesus name there are so many people maybe a few of them can come here very quickly yes please very quickly swelling on the neck disappear swelling swelling on the neck There's how long give her the mic to... how long very quickly for one week here was swelling up it was swelling yes, and it's gone right now yes, in the name of jesus it never returns again don't commonize miracles this is how god is opening doors in your life too Swelling, in Jesus' name. Swelling in our throat too for like six Swelling. Months. Yes. It's not swelling, but this long thing that is inside was touching my tongue and I was feeling uncomfortable. Okay. And now I'm it's gone completely. Dead. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus perfection for you in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a problem with my leg. Whenever I sit down for long, when I stand up, I fall weak. The leg just become weak and I just fall down. You fall down? Yes. So, but ever since I came to this service, I'm not conscious of standing up. Like, I feel free now Run. with the leg. Try to jump. Any pain, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle, since he was a small boy, he's had problem with his chest, with breathing, but now? Breathing. Yes, I had problem with the chest. So when I was sitting at the basement, I was not feeling comfortable breathing. So when you say we should put our hands in our chest, yes. so I decided to just put it by as faith. usual. So when I just put my hands, so normally I search for fresh air to breathe. If I go through this way, I see that the place is stuffy. I go to the next place. And right now? Yes, yeah, so I've been breathe, walking around. Breathe in and out. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? Give no, Jesus sir. praise. We declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, growth in the neck for four years. Growth in the neck? Yes, Gone. Yes, sir. Since 2017. Since 2017? Yes, I had my a God. dream that someone forced something down my throat. I was struggling. And when I woke up, it has been... Everything that is not the planting of God, it returns back to the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Yes, was a similar experience for one. My mom, she's at home. She has a swelling on her neck. Then she sent me this message. I should pray for her. Why are you afraid? I placed my hand on my neck. I prayed for her. After I finished praying, I called. I told her, Mom, how is your neck? She told me she's perfectly okay now. Where is she? She's at home. Where is home? She's at Anambra State. Mm -hmm. she's okay All the now. way from Anambra yes, State. Sir. Those following online, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles and breakthroughs for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, she has had dislocation in her hand. She even came with the bandage, but now dislocation. The Where is the bandage? Lift it up. It. What couldn't you do before? You couldn't do this. Go ahead. Lift it. Let the devil see both the bandage 
and your healed hands supernatural miracle come listen brothers and sisters you see let me tell you something here eh? the working of miracles is a gift and a grace if you don't have it you don't have it if it's there it is there praise the lord but then the side effect in a house that miracles easily happen just like water is that sometimes we may commonize the workings of miracles and what god is doing every one of these miracles you see there is a story of tragedy and pain this is deliverance this is healing that god is bringing for them we rejoice with you and we declare you go back home and tell them this is what happens when we come to church god bless you bless you my dear yes please so this has been confirmed by a medical official she had a topic pregnancy she was operated upon and then she has been in severe pain severe she pain. could not even work what's your name now? my dear from gen patients boy and then you have a problem yes. a topic pregnancy yes. she was operated and she's been having pain yes. number one that pain is perfected Amen. number two in the name of jesus we declare that you will be a joyful mother of children Amen. in jesus name i pray God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, since 2014, he's had moving objects. He feels things moving around him. And now, persecution, sir. Sir? Because of persecution, I came from Meduguri, sir. Because of persecution? So, yes. Moving All objects? Over. Yes. They want to force They want to kill me, sir. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, perfection. I stretch my hands right now. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you. And in Jesus' name, every demonic thing, I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I declare now, as I'm praying for you, in the name of Jesus, everything that is a programming of death, be delivered from it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Pain, several pains. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you, all of you with all sorts of pain, let there be healing for you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Yes, sir. Pain from atopic pregnancy, gone. Hallelujah. This issue of pregnancy and this demonic thing, we stand by the God of heaven and we declare, you will not get pregnant and lose it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit that continues to make that you get pregnant and then it doesn't work you give your best you try and it does not work i curse it right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus my dear be healed by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please very quickly apostle the lord is indeed faithful amen she's had 17 seizures yesterday 17, 17 seizures. The mother has the records here. She keeps record of these. Madam, talk. Don't cry. Just talk quickly. One Sir, minute. When she turned 12, like I was last year, she just started misbehaving. She used to have seizure, maybe in a minute. Yes. If she's having anything in her hand, she will throw it. She will naked herself. Then the thing started this year in the school. It was not doing her in the school, but it began to progress. It started in the school. The seizures started. We were praying. So, uh, what they happened saw, now? Are, yesterday, because of this miracle service, I've been asking God to heal her. Yesterday, I started taking records. It, the seizures started around 12.20 a.m. in the night. As I recorded till night. What, uh, and what has happened now? 17. But today, I started 2.20 since this service started the last seizure was 5 11. And she's not had any she seizure not had it till now. my dear what's yes. your name esther 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 i rebuke every spirit that wants to destroy the destiny of this our beautiful daughter seizures in the name of jesus see i'm praying for the daughter and is the mother the power of god is coming on in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare if it's a pattern within that family, we break it now. Amen. By the way, let me speak over everyone. Any pattern you have seen, recurrent patterns, happens to loved ones and is happening to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that pattern comes to an end now. That pattern comes to an end now. Hallelujah.
please let's just take two two and then two two and then we'll just you can document the rest and they can have it next week yes very quickly in my body for the past 10 years she said she could literally feel 10 body. years you feel breathing, objects breathing, in your body breathing but immediately you call the case now she's completely gone well. my dear it will never return to you again in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit be free now be free forever in jesus name i pray amen and amen yes please mama said in the dream somebody hits her hand here and then she in the physical and then she could not turn the hand she could not turn her hand and the give her the mic quickly no no don't hold it just talk mama a woman in the ceremony hit me on my shoulder when i even came here sometimes i cannot turn i have to turn with my whole body but when i came my hand was paining me if you say raise up your hands for prayers if i want to raise my hand will hook me but now when you prayed come on koinonia jesus and then she couldn't see properly but now her vision is perfect i have glaucoma i have cataract and i have diabetes rhinopathy i was not seeing people's face hold on please yes we're listening. after the prayers if you pray i'll put my hands on my eyes and now i can see people's face hmm. She came from Zarias. Apostle, uh, Apostle, he knows me very well. He has contributed on my life. I'm not at even I'm Zaria. Not sure. And Mommy Lucille. Okay. Mommy Lavinia. Oh, they are my part goodness. Of, they are part of your members. I used to come for the Mama God has healed you now. I came Let the devil see it again. Look at this. Are you celebrating with this family? Listen. My brothers and sisters, not all miracles are stage managed. There are real, genuine miracles. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Mama, you are healed now, and we declare you are healed forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Confirmed by the medical official, she had breast lump, but it's gone, disappeared. Breast lump. Yes, sir. When you mentioned it confirmed completely gone confirmed by the medical team yes, sir, confirmed. in the name of jesus celebrate jesus everything that is planted in your life that is not of god we uproot it right now in jesus name yes sir apostle the three of them have similar cases with their needs but today instantly the lord healed How long? the lord has healed them yesterday i had an okay now i'm free now completely check yourselves check yourselves mine was eight months i fell in a ditch and my bone shifted and after the massage if i sit down for too long i'd feel the pain so last miracle service i had my miracle but i was too shy to come out but this miracle service and when you talked about kneecap i just keyed into it and the pain is gone in the name of jesus we declare perfection by the power of the holy spirit yes please apostle this is amazing i think it's better we hear from her yes go ahead don't hold it, just speak, my dear. Okay, so um, I, have been, I had a baby in April, and since I had the baby, I've been feeling unsettled in my brain. I knew something was not right. So on Friday, I went to do a brain MRI, and it turns out that I have a mast that is resting on my optic nerve. You had a mast? It, they called it between. Let the doctor talk. Explain it for us, just one minute, very quickly. It's a pituitary tumor. Yeah, so it sits on the optic nerve, which is responsible for vision. So that's why she's been having the blurring of vision. And then it's also responsible for production of hormones that regulates the body. So that's why she's been having the um, upset in the hormones. I had a baby and I, I wasn't able to breastfeed my baby because, um, because of this. My prolactin levels were okay. very low, even lower than the average female. So what happened now? So while the ministration was going on, I, well, after the prayer, I just felt that everywhere was suddenly clear. Like I could see clearly. And Hallelujah. I felt like a fresh breeze from, yes. the, from my head to the sole Upon of my you. feet. 
And I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I was sitting down, I was telling my neighbor that I don't know if I should come outside, but I just decided to come out. Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is Lord. I stretch my hands towards you, my dear. I declare perfection. You go to the hospital, have a thorough test. You will come and stand here and testify before God's people. Every demon, every mast, anywhere around your body, your face, we declare it gives way now. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. I was a pile for six years. Pile? I've just been here. Yeah, I'm having pile for six years now. But today I believe that God has healed me. Completely. Uh, yes. And also yesterday I did a test of hepatitis B. But trusting God that this, my coming to this point now, I'm healed yes. in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, healing for you. The last, the last one or two, please. And then we'll just pray generally. Majority of them pain. In all the of them of pain. The in the name of Jesus Christ. Healed. For all of you who are here remaining, by the power of the Holy Spirit and those who are going, we apologize for the sake of time. We may not be able to take the testimonies. We do not downplay the testimonies. But in the name of Jesus, your healings remain permanent. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the same hand that healed you will preserve you and keep you healed in Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands here. Rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands. Even as we speak, we have a covenant of answered prayer from Scripture and then with God in this house in one minute now listen let me tell you this in my opinion is one of the most powerful part of the miracle service because this is the most accurate representation of our desires we may not be able to prophesy because of time and because we see in part but everyone's expectation is here world over i like you to release your faith in one minute and begin to make declarations as i pray that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. of Jesus who is the son of the living God I bow my knees to the father of our Lord and I declare right now that every request that is represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead we turn it into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ every death sentence written here we declare in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass. I decree and I declare that every human agent that must come in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make these requests become testimonies we provoke their ministries right now. And I speak to you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that this Egyptians that you see today 
you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life by the power that is christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of jesus as you return from this mountain step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting god for jobs in the name of jesus for some of you by next week i declare by the spirit of god you return with miracle jobs where you have not experienced favor in your life i release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor you have honored me even through this weekend of my birthday i pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever i pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of god a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of jesus christ and finally let me pray for you everything you have seen or god told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested i declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finishers anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you are god alone from before time began you were on your throne you are god alone you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you one more time sing you are god alone Before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Father, we thank you for tonight. With our hands lifted to Jesus, the author and even the finisher of our faith, we pray that tonight will be a night of extraordinary encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give us marvelous visitations by your spirit. Let your word come with power. And whilst the word comes, oh God, we pray that the sick be healed. We pray that the oppressed be delivered. Lift us to higher dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Give Jesus a big hand clap. God bless you. Hallelujah. Again, may I request you to help me as we honor a veteran of the gospel indeed, a father and one who has become one of the leading voices, his eminence, Archbishop Duncan Williams and his dear wife. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Again, to all the leaders here at the Action Chapel, and then by extension, all who minister in word and in doctrine across the entire, I can guarantee you by the Spirit that the version of you that came here is not the version that will go back. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Therefore, let your faith rise. Let your expectations be high. 
Jesus is in the midst of his people. And he will be glorified tonight in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Be seated. God bless you. By the way, did I tell you that you are an amazing family? Absolutely amazing. God bless you. Amazing church family here in Ghana. Let me start tonight by reading a very important scripture and then we'll begin our discourse from there. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. He said, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers up from out of the land of Egypt so that every time you see a man make progress in life, Behind that advancement, it is the Lord. He says it is the Lord that advanced Moses. You would see Moses making progress. You would see Aaron making progress. But the Bible says behind every advancement is the marvelous hand of God. May that be so for you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now I begin my teaching. Second Chronicles, please, chapter 15 and verse 3. There are three things that if found missing in any territory, three things, if found missing in any territory, darkness will reign over that territory, oppression will reign over that territory, and these three things are reflected in this scripture. The Bible says, now for a long season, Israel had been without, number one, the true God. Number two, without a teaching priest. And number three, without law. So, the formula for decadence and retrogression and servitude and lack of advancement at a territorial scale is number one, the absence of the one true God. Number two, the absence of the teaching priest. Number three, the absence of principles that govern civil living within a territory. Are we together now? So, if the devil wants to oppress Ghana or Africa or Europe or America or any part at all, the first thing he does is he attacks their conviction. So that with time, subliminally, they will get to a point where they do not acknowledge the one true God. John 17 and verse 3, Jesus is praying now. He says, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. Not one of them, the only true God. And Jesus, whom thou hast sent. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Yes. We live in times where it almost becomes um, like a threat to civilization when you advocate that there is a God in heaven who rules over the affairs of men. When you mention the name Jesus, when you communicate anything that is reflective of spirituality, there are systems and structures already built in place to fight anything God. But can I tell you this? Any territory that rejects God is a territory that will use their short lifetime paying that price. Let every other name fade away. Ghana, listen. Let every other name fade away. Until there's only you, let every other name stay away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. That's our declaration over this land. Let every other name fade away. Ah. Let every other name fade away. That's only you. Let every other name fail. 
fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. The Bible says, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bore him a son, and he called him Seth. And it says, men began to call upon the name of the Lord. That means there was a time that they forgot to call upon the name of the Lord. There are things that must be born for, to remind men again. There are revivals, there are prophetic dimensions. Oftentimes when people forget about God, all he needs to do is take one step out of their lives. And in their pain and their distress, they will remember that there is the one true God. For a long time, there was no acknowledgement of that one true God. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, when you read from verse 5 to 7, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, not some, acknowledge him. To acknowledge means to, play, to place value and he shall direct your path. The next verse says, do not be wise in your own eyes. It says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Through the technological advancement, advancement in medicine and IT, and all of these kinds of things as the world continues to evolve, it seems as though we are getting to a place where we do not see the importance of God in our lives, in nation building, Again, God looks like an alternative to failures. That means if you lack prosperity, if you lack intellectual advancement, educationally speaking, and you do not have any opportunity for influence, then you can console yourself by being spiritual. Listen carefully. The nation that rejects God is a nation that has rejected its future. The family that rejects God is the family that would have given up the future. The destiny that rejects God is a destiny that will spend its lifetime paying the price. For except the Lord builds the house, my Bible says they labor but in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city. The watchmen watch it but in vain. He says it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. There is only one who can give his beloved sleep. God. Are we together? Very simple message. But you must pay attention. The nation of Israel... Once and again, they found themselves deviating from the ways of God. Moses went up the mountain to receive the commandments. And just for 90 days, he returned back and he met all kinds of spiritual halotry. They had built an image with the same resources that they would be using in the future to build him a temple. And they said, this be the God that brought us out of Egypt. I can tell you one thing with God. When the Bible says God is a jealous God, jealousy is not a negative attribute. Jealousy is like a gun. It depends on who is holding it. If a military man is holding that gun, good for you. If an armed robber is holding that gun, bad for you. So jealousy is the quality that makes you protective of anything that you have. So when the Bible says God is a jealous God, it is that quality in him that insists that the devil does not take advantage of you because you are his. And he expressed that jealousy by saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love, he says, and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. As great and mighty as God is, he was not ashamed to declare his vulnerability over his creation that he also calls his bride. Are we blessed? So my first charge tonight, before I begin to pray and minister, is that Ghana as a nation and every region 
must consciously return to a place where you acknowledge that there is the one through God. Listen to me. The God of heaven is not a nuisance to civilization. He began civilization. Are we together now? Yes. God is not anti-advancement. That was why I gave you that scripture. That it was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Behind the exploits of men in this kingdom, brothers and sisters, is the mysterious hand of God. Lifting men, opening doors. Nicodemus came to Jesus, John chapter 3. Please give it to us, verse 1. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man, verse 2 now, sent from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except. There are things that the world of men cannot afford. You can't find it in a bank. You can't find it in a school. The power of God is not saved in a bank. The power of God cannot be found under the earth. It's not a mineral resource. If you see a man walk in that dimension, it is God that gave it. Are we together? Listen to me. There are times that we think our intellectual prowess, and now I'm speaking apostolically, not just to the nation of Ghana, but to Africa and also the globe. We, we are coming to times where men are becoming embarrassed and ashamed to acknowledge that spirituality remains an advantage to men. Listen to me. There are times when your boat can be good. Oh, Peter. There are times when your knowledge of fishing will be intact. There are times when the net will be good but you will still not catch fish. Are we together? There are times where your inability to catch fish is not reflective of laziness. You went to the sea with a boat that was functional, with a skill that was functional, with a net that can catch fish, except that the earth is the Lord's. And so if it does not direct fish, you cannot catch fish. We must unashamedly, as a nation and a continent, submit our understanding to this rabbi of the ages. He's called the ancient of days. He has an advantage of time. Please give us that scripture again. Second Chronicles 5, 15, 3. Pelas, Second Chronicles 15, 15, 3. So the first is without a true God. There can be many gods. When you mention God in our world today, God means anything. Including yourself. Including your mind including your bank account, including your certificate. But let me tell you this. The jealousy of God is so strict that anything that stands his place in your life, he will fight it even if he's the one who gave it to you. The moment it finds its way to sit in that position that is exclusive to God, you have declared war. And did you know that this God is also a warrior? When he fights, he does not lose. Let me tell you why many blessings, even from God, destroy us. Because when we receive every good and perfect gift that the Bible says comes from above, we exalt it to a point where it pushes God out of our lives. So your certificate, your intelligence, very necessary, but you can exalt it to push God out of your life. The opportunity to be blessed financially, whatever it is that he's given you, the safest position of a believer is when you submit yourself alongside everything that constitutes an advantage to your life under the government of the Christ. To exalt him above everything, above thrones and above dominions. Can I tell you this? 
If your child is thoroughly educated but does not know God, something is still missing. If your child is responsible and yet does not know God, something is still missing. Do not look at the knowledge of God and passion for the things of God as an added advantage to profitable living. It is the basis. It's a very simple but powerful charge tonight. May we never exalt anything whatsoever. No. The woman with the alabaster box taught us a lesson. The Bible says she brought before him an alabaster box of pure nard. It was worth a year's wages. And the Bible says she came at the feet of the master. And one synoptic account says she broke it. She didn't pour it. To pour it means that she was connected to part of it. She broke everything at his feet. And then she used her hair that the Bible says is the glory of a woman to wash his feet. When it has to do with him that sits upon the throne, even if you are an elder with a golden crown, you remove it. The Bible says the elders with their golden crown that their elders alone is deserving of honor and then with a golden crown. But they are able to unashamedly remove that crown and cry before him that was, him that is, and him that is to come. Ghana, here is the formula that must remain in your nation. In the beginning, God. Genesis 1 verse 1. I taught you on patterns yesterday. Not in the beginning, technology. Not in the beginning, ministry. Not in the beginning, banking. In the beginning, when you compromise on this formula, the formidability of your structure will no longer be there. It matters that God is priority, not just that he is there. I can come to your house and you can leave me at the veranda or the balcony. I'm in your house, but that is not an honorable position. Is that true? There are visitors who come to our houses and we leave them at the gate. It's a level of honor. There are others who may be in the compound, but not inside the house. But there are others we can even take them to the bedroom as an expression of our depth of confidence and intimacy. So do not tell me that God is in your life. Where in your life is he? Do not smuggle him in the midst of a plethora of activities. And then he occupies position 50 or 51. He's in your life. But his jealousy will not rest until he becomes number one. So don't tell me you are saved. Don't say you are a Christian. God is calling us tonight to a point where as a united people, we must come to a point where he becomes king of kings, lord of lords, and lord of all. Are we together? I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend Help me find a way Bring me back to you
ever buy into that narrative that the more you commit your heart to the Lord, the more you fail. Please look at my life as an example that nobody gives him all and remains down. The Bible declares no eye has seen nor ear heard. That means no dimension of revelation has gotten there. No dimension of the prophetic has gotten there. A state where God has prepared the things for them that love him. More than a man of God, more than a businessman. There are things with God that is a love issue. Only genuine lovers of God can move past that realm. Please hear what I'm telling you. You can be a prayer warrior and not be a lover of God. You can be a diligent man of God and not be a lover of God. You can be a philanthropist and not be a lover of God. I'm not just calling on those who work for God. I'm not just calling on those who know about God. You can know about me by reading my books, but you know me by meeting me. My obsession and my passion has been to lead this campaign across the nations that there is a God in heaven. The king in his pride, negating the authority and the government of God, was turned to a beast, not a parable. It happened for seven years. A beast with the brain of a human to remind him that there was a God that sits upon the circles of the earth. Can I tell you, just because God is silent does not mean he's weak. There are times where God can arise. Are we blessed? Let me encourage all who love and serve his purposes, especially co-laborers. Let us love God more than ministry. Ministry can become an idol. Let us love God more than church. Love God more than prayer group. Love God more than whatever it is. Whatever you do only finds relevance to the degree to which your love is intact. I love him more than ministry. I would give up ministry a thousand times to protect my love for him. Hear what the psalmist said. He says, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere that I'd rather be a doorkeeper. That's how much he desired his presence. No wonder he was a man who was called a man after God's heart. That was a testimony that not even Moses got, even though he met God face to face. Can I tell you this? The greatest testimony in my life, at the end of my life, if I have a testimony I want the nations to know, it should not be that I traveled around the world bringing the power and the glory of God. It shouldn't be that this was another apostle and another revivalist. I covered the testimony of Enoch and Enoch walked with God. So I'm bringing to your consciousness again their Ghana, their Africa, Dear earth, there is a God that sits in heaven. He's not one of those superstitious cosmic realities. He's the God of the universe. And he sent his son Jesus. The Bible calls Jesus the express image of the invisible God. Jesus, a revelation of the love of the Father. Jesus calls himself the way and the truth and the life. Jesus, the epicenter of the Christian faith. That the moment your faith is hinged around any other auxiliary spiritual activity outside of Jesus, you are already in error. The Bible calls him the author and the finisher. He cannot be omega over what he's not alpha over. He has to be alpha before he becomes omega. So if you do not start with him and he meets you somewhere in the journey of your life, you will go back again. The only way he becomes omega is if you allow him become alpha. 
Listen, the idea of Jesus is more than a Christian idea. The idea of Jesus is more than a philosophical idea. The one who is today enthroned according to the communication of the apostles in Acts chapter 2 that he has been enthroned, Acts chapter 2 and 3, Lord and Christ. Enthroned today. Romans chapter 10, from verse 9 and 10, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with your mouth, not I am a Christian, the Lordship of Jesus. You know you are a believer in Christ. You know you have become part of the fold. Listen carefully. Not to the degree to which you go to church. Not to the, 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 the degree to which you are a worker in church. As profitable as that is. There must be an exact experience in your life where Jesus becomes Savior. Jesus becomes Lord. Jesus becomes King. There are many people in church who might be on their way to hell because they are around the things of God but they have not made up their minds in total surrender to come to Jesus. Emmanuel God is with He shall reign, he shall reign, he shall reign forevermore. For a long time, Israel had no true God. This is life eternal that they may know thee, the one true God, and Jesus whom thou hast sent. All the streets in Ghana and all the regions in Ghana must know that Jesus is Lord. This is not the activity of evangelists. No. The whole assignment of a witness, can I tell you this? I'm not teaching on this now. I'm sure that God will grant another platform for us to discuss this. But the principal assignment of every believer in Christ is found in John 1, 6 and 7. The Bible says there was a man. It did not say sent from his father. There was a man, verse 6, called you, sent from God. You only pass through the territory of Ghana. So you assume the identity of a Ghanaian. But by your divine and prophetic revelation, the Bible says you were sent. Truly, like an arrow from eternity into time. If you pass through the U.S., they would call you a citizen of U.S. If you pass through the soil of Ghana, by Ghanaian descent, they will call you a Ghanaian. But more than your territorial connection, the Bible reveals to you. Please give us that scripture. There was a man sent from God. When he got to the earth, they gave him an earthly name called John. Like they gave the word an earthly name called Jesus. His original name was not Jesus. There are footballers today called Jesus. There are Mexicans called Jesus. Their name does not carry power because it is an office. It is not the pronunciation of the name. It is the revelation of the office. The Bible says the same came for one purpose, for a witness. John was not a Baptist. John was not a prophet. Baptism and prophecies were simply strategies to make his witness effective. He was a witness. Even Jesus himself, revelations when he appeared to John in the Isle of Patmos when he was banished, the Bible starts by saying, Revelations 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto his servant John, that is to show him the things that would come to pass. And he sent it and signified by his angel. When you read on, he calls Jesus the faithful witness. So generically speaking, our assignments as believers 
is to be witnesses. A witness is a validator of a claim. You do not need a witness until there is a contention over a claim. Then you are asked to, to bring a witness. And a witness is only a witness if he has a token of truthfulness called evidence. If you do not have an evidence, you are not a faithful witness. This is why he's invested the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of God. All of these provisions are equippings to make us effective witnesses. But my first call tonight is Ghana, Africa, planet Earth, one more time. Let us not allow history to teach us a lesson by repeating itself. There is one true God and Jesus whom he has sent. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave that one as at the time that was written, it was his one and only begotten son. But today we know by the authority of scripture that he is now the first begotten of we the brethren. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but to have everlasting life. Let me pause for a minute right now and please permit me to make an altar call before I continue. There are people here, I saw such a crowd of people, the overflows outside, even extending right almost to the gate and there are thousands others following by way of the TV station, by way of internet. I present to you Jesus, not as a religious the head of a religion. I present to you Jesus as a representation of the love of the Father. This is the gospel of salvation. The gospel of salvation is the revelation of the love of the Father revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus. Man being the object behind that love and then it extends to creation to the end that whosoever believes in him, the Bible says that he should not perish but now become a recipient of his life. And that life is more than eternal life. What we were given is more than eternal life. Because theologically speaking, not to create any confusion, but everybody really lives forever. It is location, not possibility of living. Everybody in hell will remain alive. Everybody in heaven will remain alive. When you read the story of Lazarus and the rich man, when they exited the earth, they did not cease to live. So when you win souls, you ask them, where do you want to spend eternity? Not will you. You will. The question is location. The life we have been given is more than an eternal life. It is God's life. The very life of God. The invincible, indestructible life. It is by that life and through the ministry of his spirit, the Bible says we have become partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Jesus is calling you not just to be another religious person. Jesus is calling you beyond a church goer. He wants to give you a new beginning. There are many people listening right now, listening outside all across Ghana. My first charge tonight is dear people of God, one more time, I present to you this one who is Savior, this one who is Lord, this one who came as a reflection of the Father's love. He is why the Holy Spirit came. He is why the Holy Spirit is in us. He is the only basis for a life victorious and a life indomitable. I'm going to make this altar call and for constraint of space, I'm going to ask you when I'm done talking to stand whether you are inside or outside. Two categories of people very quickly. Those who are saying, Apostle, I've heard about this Jesus thing but I've not been very intentional about making that decision. And then number two, there are those who are saying, Apostle, I've been around church for a long time. I remember confessing my sins, but as it is, my life has gone haywire. I need Jesus. Very quickly, 
you belong to any of those categories, now here's what we're going to do. Um, so that we don't congest this place, will there be counselors? Will there be, okay, beautiful. So now here's what will happen. For those who are in here, I'm going to ask you if you can, very gently, you don't have to push anybody. As many who can stand here, if this space is exhausted, then you will just stand across the aisles. When I pray with you, then you will follow the counselors or you may return to your seat, whatever instruction you are giving. For those outside, you don't need to come in. You just move to your screen. The overflows, those following by way of TV or internet, right where you are in your home, your office, you're going to make that decision. I'm going to count one to five. And I want you with the boldness and the determination of the prodigal son. The prodigal son said, how many hired servants has my father? And I'm here feeding with the swine. The Bible says he came to himself and here's what he said. I will arise and I will go to my father. And I will say, father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. And I am not worthy to be called your son, but take me as one of your servants. The Bible says, whilst he was on his way coming, the father came and embraced him, kissed him, restored his dominion and put a signet ring. I'm counting one to five. The Holy Spirit is talking to someone who must win that war tonight. Are you ready? One. Leave your seat if you're coming and come and stand here before Jesus. Let's celebrate them at John Chapel as they come. Everywhere. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Two. Young and old. Swallow your pride tonight and come to Jesus. He calls you as an expression of his love. Please don't kneel. Stand so there can be more space. Three. When I count five, I begin to pray. Someone is saying, Apostle, I don't think I'm a bad person, but I'm not sure I've made that decision. Stand up and join them. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who died and those who survived. There is no sitting at the fence. If you are not sure, there is such a reality in the kingdom as the assurance of salvation. Come, join them. Join them. Join them. This is four now, the last count, and then we we'll begin to pray. If you're coming, please quickly come and join them. I want to pray with you. Now, for all of you who have responded to this altar call, acknowledging Jesus, please understand why you are here. Don't just be emotional. Be very spiritual about this decision. The Bible records that with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Please lift your right hand high above your head. Everyone who is praying this prayer, all the overflows, please follow suit. And you who is praying in your home and everywhere you're connecting, right there where you are, Jesus is there. Please say this after me as loud as you can. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. I declare that Jesus is my savior. Help those under the anointing there. My Lord and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. 
I go forward ever and backward never. Amen and amen. Let me pray for you now. Father, thank you for these ones that you have brought to yourself. The Bible says, no man cometh to the Father except through his Son. You have brought them by the authority of Scripture. I declare your sins forgiven. And I call you recipients of the life of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you enjoy the ministry of the Word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. That you are established in righteousness and you go from glory to glory and grace to grace. For in Jesus' name, I pray and the church said, Amen. Now, okay, beautiful. Now, here's what I want you to do. If you turn to the back, you're going to see counselors waving their hands. I'd like you to politely follow them. They'll have a word with you and you'll rush back to your seat and join the service. Please, counselors, let's make it fast with them so that they can return to their seats. Let's celebrate a harvest of souls. Hallelujah. Back to our scripture, we have to finish up very quickly. Second Chronicles 15 and verse 3. We're working on that scripture now. For a long season, Israel was without the true God. And then number two, without a teaching priest. According to Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15, the Bible declares that I will give you pastors or shepherds who are after my heart. Jeremiah 3, 15. I will give you pastors who are after my heart. The Bible says they will feed you. Listen to me. The level of spiritual understanding of a territory is directly proportional to the quality of the men and the women of God who are in that territory. Are we together? When the devil wants to bring a territory into a level of spiritual ignorance or decadence, all he needs to do is to invest his time distracting, confusing, and deviating the shepherds. Because the Bible says when there is no teaching priest, then there is no platform for methodical worship of believers. It means then that it is impossible for believers to grow and become men and women of power and stature. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52, the Bible says, and Jesus increased. Even Jesus, the son of the living God, he increased in wisdom, he increased in stature, he increased in favor with God and with men. Everything that is alive grows. So if we are alive in Christ, it means that we should grow. Are we together? Generally, for many of you who have listened to my teachings, you would have heard me say this. And let me repeat it for the first time in Ghana. That the greatest need of an unbeliever is salvation. An encounter with Jesus. That means no matter what you give an unbeliever as a gift... If Jesus is not part of that gift, you really did not bless the unbeliever. But that when a believer becomes saved, leaving the believer at the corridors of the kingdom will only produce babes. And when there are children, the Bible says an heir, for as long as he's a child, Galatians 4, differed not from a slave, even though he be lord of all. That means that his experience, even though a believer will not differ from what was his experience outside of the faith life. Why? Because it takes maturity and growth to walk in the experience of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So, the greatest need of a saved believer is transformation. Transformation by the sound exegesis of scripture. Hebrews chapter 6 from verse 1 lists six doctrines that represent the foundational pillars of the Christian faith. If a believer is to mature, he talks about the foundation of repentance from dead works, faith towards God. Number 3, verse 2. 
the doctrine of baptisms, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And verse 3, he says, this we will do if God permits. That means that we need to transit and to grow from the level of spiritual immaturity. Like I respectfully observed yesterday, the average believer in Africa needs to contend for greater levels of illumination to grow. We need to grow. And listen to me. There are two principal indices that measure the spiritual growth of a believer. Number one, you are growing as a believer to the degree to which you conform experientially to the image and the character of the Christ. That is the first biblical index to measure spiritual growth. Paul was speaking to those who were already saved and he said, my little children in whom I travail until Christ be formed in you. The first biblical index to measure spiritual growth is your degree of conformity to the image and the character of the Christ in experience. Number two, the second biblical index that is used to measure spiritual growth is your depth of comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Mm. He told Job, he said, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? He says, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Psalm 82 and verse 5. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Next verse says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you, not some, are children of the most high. Verse 7 says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. It takes knowledge to rise. Paul was speaking and he said, I went up by revelation by desire I went up by revelation Psalm 60 and verse 1 arise and shine for your light is come not your light is with us Isaiah 60 I keep saying Psalm Isaiah 60 and verse 1 arise he says shine for your light is come not your light is available is when it comes to you Ezekiel chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 and 2 the prophet received an instruction. Son of man, stand up upon your feet and let me speak to you, verse 1. And the Bible says he did not have the strength. Verse 2 says, and the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet. Someone must leave this level of spiritual immaturity through transformation. Transformation. I beseech thee, Romans 12 and verse 1. By the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice unto God, which is your reasonable act of service. Verse 2 says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 says, permit this mind to be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There was a construct of an understanding that was in Jesus. And the Bible says that we must sustain the mind of Christ. And that comes through the sound exegesis of doctrine. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Are we learning? There is Jesus the way. The methodology of the kingdom. You learn his ways. You learn the mysteries of the kingdom. Jesus was teaching and in Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, here's what he said. He said, it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. It has been given unto you, Action Chapel, Ghana, to know. The word know there does not just mean to be aware that such a principle exists. It's the same word that is used between a husband and a wife. To know is a deeper level of fellowship. teaching priests this is therefore my respectful plea to the men and the women of God within this territory whilst on one hand I salute the magnificent work that we have done and continue to do 
as far as kingdom come is, kingdom come is concerned. Listen, there is a corporate call to rise up higher. There is a corporate call to go deeper into the things of God. There is a corporate call to move past the levels of peripheral teachings that do not bring edification and stature. We must trust God for grace to minimize teaching opinions and personalized dealings and return to doctrine. Opinions will produce an aberrated Christian. Believe what I tell you. No matter how supernatural the encounters are, they will have to submit to it is written to profit the believers. So, no matter what my spiritual experiences are, no matter the prophetic inclination or the apostolic inclination, I must be able to bring all my experiences only as support systems. The Bible being the basis for communicating doctrine. For as long as our pulpits are filled with well-intentioned, well-meaning opinions, we are going to produce all kinds of people who do not look like Jesus. We don't have to be fake. You don't have to be fake to destroy people. Once you do not know the way, you will produce something else. I can be a very sincere person. Tell me one, one, one meal in Ghana that everybody loves. Give me a name. Oh... Uh, all right, I think I'll walk with Jollof Rice. Praise the Lord for that bailout system. I thought it was a name I would struggle to call. Now, listen. So, if you, as, as anointed as you think I am, if I cannot cook and you put me in the kitchen to prepare Jollof Rice for everyone here, chances are that I will mess up both your time and that opportunity. Now, that does not mean I am evil. I intend to bless you, but the wherewithal, the know-how. So, just being a sincere man of God does not mean you will bless people. Just being an honest man of God that is void of deception does not mean you will bless people. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Can I tell you this? respectfully let me observe this and I do not mean to insult your pedigree or in your intelligence we must return back and become sound students of doctrine and scripture so that our communications are grounded and then we'll be able to produce results that are transgenerational now listen I'm not speaking to Africa as a stranger I am speaking as one who is part of the continent. We have to minimize superstitious Christianity and get to a point where our altars become, even though we are gifted, even though we have access all dimensions of the prophetic and the apostolic, we must have the maturity and the discipline to exalt the word of God beyond our individual experiences. Listen to me. As I'm standing right here preaching, only God will tell you the number of things I have seen already. But the discipline and the self-control to shelve those things and ensure that believers are grounded in doctrine, then the gift can become an added advantage. For a long time, Israel did not have the true God and then a teaching priest. The gifts of the Spirit can attract people. Signs and wonders can bring people. But let me tell you this. Only a sound teaching grace that is doctrinally based can build believers to a point of stature and maturity. Are we together? Now, one of these, my dear um, ushers, so or all these gentlemen, please come. Let me use you as an example to buttress a point. Any one of you, please come. Come. Anyone. Thank you. Watch this. 
Assume with me, for instance, watch this gentleman. If this gentleman gets saved in the average African church or today's church, after three or four years, I should be able to probe his spiritual understanding and find out what has he learned in addition to that encounter. The average believer, if we random pick the average believer across Africa, he will not be able to defend the faith that he is now in. Not because he or she is bad, but they have not been methodically mentored. What do you know about prayer? What do you know about the word of God? What do you know about the blood of Jesus? What do you know about doctrine? Listen carefully. What do you know about purpose and destiny? And I will give you pastors after my heart. Once they are not after my heart, a good shepherd lays down his life. A bad shepherd can eat the sheep when he's hungry. Now listen, listen. Can I tell you this? Let me put a disclaimer here. As I teach, do not point fingers at people. You know you have grown when you can allow love to even rise above revelation. The hallmark of maturity in the kingdom is not knowledge, it is love. So whilst we are correcting these things, don't point fingers at people and say, tell them, God is speaking to all of us, including me. Hallelujah. Don't go back to your assemblies and hear a man of God talk and he's making some of these mistakes we are observing. Then you now begin to dishonor people and point fingers. Any revelation that has to make you lose honor to communicate it is not accurate. Are we together? That any revelation that will require you dishonoring the body. I wish I had time tonight. I would have taught you four major encounters that every believer must have to gain stature and maturity. Listen, no, 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 not. Let me just give it to you in one line. Number one, an encounter with Jesus, the son of the living God, in that order. Number two, an encounter with the person and the office of the Holy Spirit. Number three, an encounter with the word, not as the person, but the logos, the modus operandi of the kingdom. And then number four, an encounter with the body of Christ. If you do not have these four encounters, you cannot rise to stature and maturity. All of them deliver different products. An encounter with the Son of God is the system for administering eternal life. Apostle John said, this is the record. This is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And he says that life was so constructed that until you encounter the son, you cannot have that life. And then number two, the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Even though the Holy Spirit plays a role at the new birth experience, you need to encounter the Holy Spirit in his office. Jesus was teaching and he said, I have many things to tell you, John 16, but ye cannot bear them now. He says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, that he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of himself, but that whatsoever he will show you things to come. The spirit of truth. That means trust whatever he tells you. There is no lie, no guile, no deception. He is the spirit of truth. The Bible also calls him the comforter, the paraclete, an extension of the ministry of Jesus. That the world is not able to receive of him for two reasons. One, they cannot see him. Is that true? Yes. It says, but you know him, for he is with you and shall be in you. Now he has come to live in us. The Holy Spirit you must encounter the person and the office of the Spirit and the Lord walking with them. 
confirming the words with signs following. The third encounter, like I stated, is the encounter with the word of God as the logos of God, not just as the person, Jesus. The modus operandi of the kingdom, the cure for ignorance, spiritual authority is derived from your comprehending the word of God is the word exousia, the capacity through knowledge to stand in the stead of another. Just because you have encountered Jesus does not mean you will be able to command authority and power in this kingdom. The centurion said, for I am a man under authority. I say to one, go and he goes. Come and he comes. Do this and he does it. We must submit to the word of God. Ignorance will defeat any believer. Ephesians 4 and verse 18. Paul mentoring the church in Ephesus. He said, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. In fact, the assignment of Satan, who is the God of this system, is to blind the minds of people. It is such people that the word of God becomes null and void. It becomes unprofitable. So what then is the assignment? Listen carefully. What then is the assignment of a true man of God as far as the communication of sound doctrine and the building of believers within a territory is concerned? Ephesians chapter 3. Be patient with me, please, as we read to 9. The real verse is verse 9, but let me start from verse 3. Ephesians 3 and verse 3. Is God helping us? How that by revelation Paul is speaking now. He made known unto me the mystery. As I wrote afore in few words. Uh -huh, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Which in other ages was not known to the sons of men. But now, everybody say now. Now is revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs. Jump to verse 7. Whereof, that means by reason of this mandate, I was made a minister. So this was the whole goal. Qualified me to be a minister. According to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effectual working of his power. Eight. I who am less than the least of all the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. If you are a Christian, read the first five words you see in verse 9. One, two, read. And to make all men. Wow, stop there. To make all men see. There is a grace that should be on every man of God that can make all men see. Regardless their level of educational limitation or otherwise. It is a grace that can make all men see. The grace that makes all men see. You must covet that grace. And when it's time for impartation, please open up your heart. We're going to do a very fast one tonight. Open up your heart to receive the grace that makes all men see. So that when you begin to communicate, the grace that makes all men see is beyond oratory. is beyond linguistic prowess. It's an activity of the Holy Spirit through you to men that causes spiritual illumination. Their minds are open and regardless the level they are able to comprehend with the saints, everything you are communicating. So, if this man gets saved, one year after his salvation, I should be able to probe into his spiritual understanding and I should be impressed. What do you know about prayer? And what role does it play? As far as the building of the believer is concerned, 
and providing for kingdom come. What do you know about the word of God? What do you know about character? What do you know about the house of God? What do you know about the body of Christ? What do you know about the forces of victory given to the believers? The word, the name, the blood, touching and agreeing. What do you know about giving and receiving? What do you know about God's principle? His economic principle. What do you know that makes for longevity? What do you know? How can you, what do you do if the devil attacks you? It is on the strength of these mysteries you can say you are matured. Maturity is not an impartation. There is no gift of growth. No. Read your Bible. There is no gift of growth. The first man who did not grow got God's program in, in, in he got God's agenda in trouble. And from that time, Adam, every man had to grow, including Jesus. Adam was the first and only man who did not grow. He arrived as an adult. And you see the trouble we got into because he did not grow. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God is counting on us to obtain grace. There's no time to teach on the third one, laws. I'll leave that for the members in parliament and the government people to be able to help us because we have to pray. There is a lot for us to do tonight. Listen to me. Haven't communicated to you the need to prioritize God and the need to have a territory that is filled with men and women who are sound and accurate in doctrine. Can I tell you one? Maybe I should add one last thing to seal up this point. Now, denominationally speaking, and I don't mean to create any controversy, I'm sent to the body of Christ. We may differ in areas here and there, but can I tell you, there are doctrinal truths that once you are a Christian, regardless the denomination, it should not be different. The Bible says these are the things that are most surely believed among us. Give us Luke chapter 1, the first four verses. And thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Let me read the first four verses. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order, a declaration of those things which are most surely believed. There are things that should be most surely believed. Verse 2. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. Uh -huh. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of how many things? That means there is such a level of accuracy in the spirit where you can have perfect understanding as far as the dimension of grace communicated to you is concerned. Let's finish the scripture. To write unto you in order most excellent Theophilus. Why? Verse 4. That thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. That means you should not just believe it just because a man of God said it. You should have so much illumination. It should be an encounter with the word of God. To a point where you can say, I now believe it. Not just because my pastor taught it. Not just because my man of God believes it. I have found it to be true by revelation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Now, for the sake of time, we are going to pray and I'm going to do three things very quickly. Number one, we are going to pray for the sick. I believe in the power of God to heal and to touch and to bless. Number two, we are going to pray that all those who are under the yokes of darkness, Jesus in Luke chapter 4 took up the scroll of Isaiah, the Bible says, it was given to him for to read. 
he found a place where it was written concerning him and he began to quote it. He read it and he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. It was the messianic prophecy of Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, he says, because he hath anointed me. To anoint means to ordain, to legitimize an operation. He has legitimized me to preach glad tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. Can you imagine this? That there are people who, although physically they are walking, but in the realm of the spirit, they are bound in prisons. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. I like this now. Verse 3. The Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Do you know what that means? To fix the date of their liberty. Because the Bible says whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. That is authority. That is dominion. Next verse. It says to give them beauty for ashes. Let's go back to three. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks or the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. So God wants to be glorified in our lives. And one way he's glorified is when the encumbrances and all the things that impede our growth and our excelling in the kingdom, when they are taken out of the way and we find joy, in our joy he is glorified. Because he says, he that told you have asked for nothing. He says, ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Are you ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Someone's life is about to change. Just one prayer point and then I'll take a few minutes to minister. Let your heart be opened. Your life is about to change. One prayer point. Father, everything that does not name the name of Christ in and around my life, it must drop right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray over your church, over your region, over your family. Go ahead and pray. Is someone clapping his hand and pray? Shepakatoskada. In the name that is above all names, we decree and declare. Wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. new dimension of grace everything that is not consistent with the character of the Christ must leave my life now must leave this region now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray for you. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. Who is Janet? Is there such a name? Anyone with that name, Janet? I just want to speak a word now. The Lord just mentioned that name. Janet, you are wearing a yellow top. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Please verify. Do we have someone to verify? Janet, is that her name? I want to pray for you, my dear. You believe in Jesus Christ? He brought you here to lift you. He brought you here to honor you. This is what you get. You don't find this in a bank. 
You don't find this in an institution elsewhere. It is only in the house of God that you find the capacity to liberate destinies. I stretch my hands and I pray for you, my dear, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything that does not represent Christ, oil is being poured on your head now. And I decree and declare, right now, be free from every oppression of darkness. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I release you, that everything that has tied you down and tied your family down, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, let it give way right now, never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm hearing, is there a name like Kwame? Is there something like that? Is it Kwame? Kwame. Kwame. Did I get that right? Is it Kwame? It's a, it's a, day, a Saturday born. A, huh? a Saturday born. A it's, male Saturday born is Kwame. Oh, that's what I just... Yeah, I'm also Kwame. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That means we're going to have... We're going to have a... I thought it was the name of a person. Okay, let me just pray, Maso, you return back. We have a lot to do. Just stay where you are. If you are born, many people were born on Saturday, I can imagine. In the name that is above all names. Now, there are three of you standing here right now. I'm seeing fire just coming. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming on three of you right now. Three of you. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. New dimension of grace. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus as you drink of this ancient fountain may God work wonders in your life in the name of Jesus the Christ may God work wonders in your life in the name of Jesus Christ may God work wonders in your life in the name of Jesus I don't know if it's a guest that came but I'm hearing Marianne who is Marianne? Marianne this is what I'm hearing Marianne Marianne, you are wearing like a black gown. Write down. Marianne, this is what I'm seeing in my vision. Is there someone like that? Outside. Not the overflow outside. But those who are outside. There are two people there. The power of God is coming upon them right now with a loud shout. I don't know how you are going to bring them here, but there is a prophetic word for them. Two of them outside. The overflow that the camera just showed not too long. Two of them right now. The power of God is coming on two people there. And the Lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season. Please, if you can bring them, I release that grace right now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ. My dear... In the name that is above all names, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. And the Lord is saying, I should speak to you, that it will happen speedily. This is what I'm seeing. Every time God shows me a vision like that, it means that God is lifting people. You believe what I'm saying? I stretch my hand towards you right now. May that anointing come upon you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why is she here? Same thing. Bring the two people outside. Shali salima haskadi barakusia. Krada mana shanakadaru skadila haparia dehasia. Shanakadabada katapranda gadegadebaladaba. Now, please, just outside, I'm watching you now. I'm going to pray for those inside, but I'm praying for those outside. Those outside, lift your hands. I'm seeing fire coming and people will start running out. Hold them and bring them out. Don't, no, 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 no. I'm not saying to come out. Please go back. I will pray for you. The power of God will come on them. 
please bring them out those under the anointing I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost take that fire now take that fire now those outside please help them bring them out I'm seeing there are people the hand of God is marvelously upon them because I'm going to pray that same prayer for those inside whether you're an usher or not please bring them outside I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God now let me pray for those who are in here and all across there is the grace for speed that can advance a man the Bible says and the hand of God came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab I decree and declare please hold on please you don't have to come forward don't worry just those under the anointing if you can bring them out I decree and declare whether you are an usher or not please help whoever is at your side because people will start running by the anointing I decree at the count of three may that mantle for speed Ghana take that grace take that grace take that grace no more delay standing under the grace of his imminence I decree and declare everyone held down by the spirit of delay I come with the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic advance by the spirit of God advance by the hand of Elohim advance I just saw a vision respectfully speaking I saw one person at the minister stand here the power of God is just coming on you I don't know who respectfully speaking just at, I don't know who but I just saw light just hitting one person here at the minister stand I don't know who that person is but the Lord is saying you are drinking of an ancient fountain and it will be a new season for you and I declare may that be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ no more delay someone pray I challenge delay from my life in the name of Jesus it gives way by the power of the Holy Spirit spiritual advancement advancement in every area of my life I want to teach you a very simple song Hello, Madonna. Hello, him. Hello, Madonna. Hello, him. Hello, Madonna. Now, please pay attention. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want to pray. There are people here. God is calling you into deep dimensions of the prophetic. But it looks like your, your perceptions have been hazy. You are not able to step into that grace. In the name that is above all names. Right now, everyone who is called into this dimension, spring up all well. Open Hita and Tita. Let the fountain of the prophetic. Right now, I decree, take that grace. Take that grace. It's the heritage of your region. So I stand in faith and I decree and declare an activation of that grace. Outside, inside. Arise in power. In the name of Jesus. prophetic dimensions the seeing eyes and the hearing ears the seeing eyes and the hearing ears the Lord is imparting grace the seeing eyes and the hearing ears hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing someone this is the choir stand there's someone there the Lord is saying he's bringing restoration I'm going to pray for everybody but that anointing is coming on someone at the choir stand right now in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord is saying he's bringing help them help them please so they don't injure themselves 
restoration. Shagata bakata bakatos, shata banda kapras kada bakata, impra katos koto barakata pas kada belakata, shama daba 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 daga, krato katia. I see an intercessor's mantle. I see an eagle. This is what I see. There are many people who are drinking of that mantle of an intercessor at the count of three, inside and outside. May that grace rest upon you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. The intercessor's mantle in the name of Jesus. The grace to travel. The grace to travel. Parantos koto bereketai. Alida shana na na makataba. Kapreka tos koto prende gete. Shkebareka tos koto prende gete ya. Hallelujah. Listen. When Saul, the son of Kish, went to look for his donkey, when they met Samuel, there were three things that Samuel said. Number one, he said, the donkey that you have been looking for has been found. Please, if it's all right for me to pray, I just saw light coming here and I saw two people here. That the power of God is just touching you and the Lord is saying he's bringing help them oh dear in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who but please if I'm if I'm if I'm allowed to pray I just saw light and God is I'm seeing people rising on ladders just climbing I impart that grace right now in the name of Jesus to all who have come take that grace from the front to the back take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick now. Wherever you are, you are trusting God for a miracle. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. Everywhere, all over this place. If you came with someone, you are trusting for a miracle for that person very quickly. We're about to pray. One of you here, I just saw light coming on you. I don't know who are these people here, but there's one of you. Take that light in the name of Jesus Christ. Illumination by the Spirit. The Lord is opening your eyes. High level spiritual illumination. This is what the Lord is saying. And I stand upon this grace in this house and I minister it to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lay your hands now. I have to pray. Do you have commissioners? Commissioners. I'm hearing commissioner. Is there anybody here who is a commissioner? Who is that? Your life is about to change. I don't know you, but there is a prophetic word for you. Blessings to you, ma'am. Can I pray for you? Because I'm the Lord, I had the name commissioner. And I'm looking and the Lord, you're, you're a commissioner too? Is it all right, sir? Okay. What's the name, ma'am? Huh? Yes. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because... Now, I'm not one who will come and stand. I won't come and embarrass myself. There, there is discipline to the prophetic and will not just speak carelessly. But I want you to go and write what I'm about to say. I don't know you, madam, but this is not the end of where you are staying. I'm seeing you have a very far journey. Very far journey. 
There is the hand of God that is upon your life. And God is going to move you by his spirit. Sir, I'm going to pray for you. And among the many miracles, I see God taking something out of your body. This is what the Lord showed me. That he's taking something out of your body. And then he will honor and preserve you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, standing on the grace on his eminence, in the name that is above all names, I pray for you. You see, the privilege of the prophetic and the priesthood is a kingmaker anointing. You may not become a king yourself, but you enthrone and dethrone kings. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord honor you. Sir, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the privilege of the election of grace, I stretch my hands and I pray. In the name of Jesus, everything that needs to leave your body, let it leave right now. And may the Lord honor you and honor what you do in Jesus' name. Ma'am, I want to pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are stepping into a new season. I'm saying this to you, that this level you are, even politically, it will not be the last. God is honoring you and God is lifting you. Therefore, I release that grace upon you. And I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that you will rise to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands there. I want to pray for you. Jesus commanded us in Matthew chapter 10 when you read verse 1 and then you read verse 8. He gave us power against unclean spirits. Power against that means the power should not rest anytime it sees anything unclean. I want to pray for you. If you have never believed in a miracle, if you have never believed in the healing power of Jesus, please I want you to believe. For it is true that he heals. It is true that he is a healer. We make miracle work, promise keep. Light in the darkness That is who you are Agree with me as I pray In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ Shout a louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ Right now I decree and declare By the authority That is in the name of Jesus that every spirit that is back of any infirmity just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ responsible for any and all kinds of infirmities be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ be gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ And I decree and declare from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now help them be healed now I minister the life and the power of Jesus to you be healed now be healed now help that lady please that lady running help her someone hold her so she doesn't enjoy herself be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blind eye here, be opened now. Every deaf ear, in the name that is above all names, be opened now. If you put someone on crutches or wheelchairs, stand now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Every bone condition, I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I cause it right now. Heart palpitations. The Lord is healing heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have a growth at the back of your neck. I command that growth to disappear right now. Peptic ulcer. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Rheumatoid arthritis. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Um, the Lord is showing me someone I don't know what problem you have with your heart 
is I, I, it may not be a hole in the heart but there is there is a very serious heart condition wherever you are the power of God is touching you right now ulcer peptic ulcer the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ all kinds of growths lump in the breast fibroids and every kind of demonic growth I command it to disappear from your body now liver problems kidney problems be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ there's a gentleman I don't know if it's a sprain or something around your limbs but this is what I'm seeing you have there is a serious problem in fact when you walk sometimes you have to stop because it looks like your kneecap is shaking by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a miracle for you now in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare over you be healed now be healed now two more things now pay attention to this prayer hmm. the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions can I tell you most of the challenges of men are related to activities of demons and there are three levels according to scripture of deliverance the first level is casting out the spirit influences behind those infirmities or conditions the second level of deliverance is called deliverance through transformation where now by the power of God's word you are able to recalibrate the spiritual understanding of that victim so that he's in a position of advantage where he will not give the devil chance to return back again and the third level is called the discipline of conformity where you now have a role to play in partnership with the Holy Spirit to walk in keeping with the principles that guarantee your immunity are we together so I want to pray for you there are many people here inside and outside there are age-long captivities those of you outside lift your hands also I want to pray that every other name that is not of Christ at the count of three you are going to shout Jesus and hear me please whether you are an usher or not there are people who these spirits will leave and I want you to do well to be your brother's keeper let me pray ah. in the name that is above all names I declare that any spirit that has found access to anyone's life and destiny that is not of the Christ by this shout of the healer as you shout that name Jesus I decree and declare by the mystery of the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel let there be complete deliverance are you ready now one my God two three shout Jesus now I command that spirit out of their destinies now out of their lives now every demon every activity of diabolism necromancy manipulating the powers of the second heavens to tie down men help them please be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost I release you from every and any form of captivity be released now in one minute and in prayer clap your hands and declare your release declare your release by the power of the Holy Ghost declare your release 
Makos kete begeta, shana magada pata pas, parus koto prete geta, embre kete kato, pras koto shogeta, eba kato shogeta. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let there be an exodus from captivity into the liberty of the sons of life. Be free, be delivered, be free. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Let me have your attention, please. When I came, please listen, just a moment. I want you to pay attention to what God is doing. I came into this city by the privilege of God's grace. Day before yesterday, and I had the honor by the permission, the gracious permission of His Eminence, to go around this campus, I was awestruck by the activity of prayer and the level of spiritual investment that goes on here spiritually. But the part that blessed me the most, just help those under the anointing. I was granted the honor of visiting the prayer tower, the prayer mountain, and Oh, that's a video. When I got to this place, I was humbled and broken first and foremost by the level of spiritual investment to build a place, a tower that will become a prayer control room for the nations listen to me this man who is talking to you by the privilege of God's grace I'm not in ignorance as far as territorial revival and dominion is concerned I am a student of revival I have studied the moves of God I, by the privilege of the election of grace I can tell you that I have an understanding of the ingredients that make for the sustainable move of God Moses ensured to build according to pattern that was a group of gentlemen very I, I, it, was, it was a marvelous marvelous time and his eminence granted me the grace but when you truly see you don't doubt what you see this is remarkable and you know this is consistent with what God is doing not just in Ghana the most profitable activity believe me, that I did. And, uh, that I spent some time praying with your prayer warriors, encouraging them and pouring oil over that ground to decree and declare. And I had the rare privilege of a discussion with his eminence and I was broken afresh by his desire for intercession. I think it's an impartation that I received myself. Pay very close attention to what I'm saying. The Bible says, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. A house of prayer Yesterday, I left a prophetic word 
over Ghana that a season is coming to an end and that another one is beginning. You see, before you believe a man, study about him. Are we together now? Yes. I fear God. I've seen the Lord Jesus Christ. I will not stand here and insult your pedigree and your spiritual experience by telling you something that is not of God. If it's not of God, I would teach and go and sit down. But I can tell you, Ghana, a season is coming to an end. And the emergence of a new season will happen so fast. It will happen so fast. I saw the Spirit of God going across campuses, schools, homes. There are mothers who even in their old age, they will become intercessors after the order of Anna the prophetess. And stand upon their watch and pray. Please help them, help them, help them, help them. Just help them. Hallelujah. And two things struck me immediately. When I saw that, I was broken and I made up my mind that whatever contribution that I as a person would have to make to see that project... Hallelujah. I would be a hypocrite if I come here and talk about such a project and the move of God and then not commit to being part of it. That would be hypocrisy. But I believe in what God is doing. Are we together now? And now listen very carefully. With the permission of his eminence, there are two things I want to do here very quickly. I fear God and I love you with all my heart. But there are two scriptures that the Lord gave me that I want to use in one minute. And then I'll give you an instruction. Scripture number one. Exodus chapter 25 from verse one. Do you want to sit for a moment? Please sit for a moment. Just help those under the anointing. Exodus 25, one from verse one. From verse 1. Please give it to us very quickly so that we'll hurry up. Exodus 25 and verse 1. The Lord spake unto Moses saying, verse 2. It says, speak unto the children of Israel that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly. Underline the word willingly. With his heart shall you take. That means don't bother taking anything that is not willing. Now, please listen to me. I made up my mind that I was going to be part of this project and then to honor his eminence, the father over this land by challenging a few people to join me by the spirit, sincerely. I fear God, many of you have followed me I will never come and stand on stage. This is not even something that I usually do. It is not, it is not. But you see, this man who you call his eminence, your father, my life has been impacted by his life and ministry. There is no, listen, and, and I mean no flattery. There is nobody who God is using graciously in the apostolic and the prophetic who will not say there has been a contribution to his spiritual life directly connected to the ministry of his eminence, the Archbishop. I say this with every sense of humility. Hallelujah. And where I come from, we have been trained to honor fathers. We do not just smile at them, we honor them. We honor them sincerely. We honor them truthfully. Now, the challenge with the body of Christ, especially the church in Africa, well, the church global, is that when it has to do with issues like this, the reason why people feel sad is because over the years, there have been all kinds of gimmicks and manipulation. Am I right on that? 
where people are manipulated using the guise of whatsoever thing, you know, whatever it is. So every time people begin to hear about things like this, they generally fall back, not because they do not desire to give, but simply because the gospel and the truth of God's word has not been communicated with integrity and with truthfulness. He says, if there be any man, the building of the Lord's house will always come through the supply of resources from the saints who have an understanding and are led by the Spirit. Can I tell you, when you give out of manipulation in truth, there is no reward. Believe me when I tell you, there is no reward. Are we together now? The second scripture, Nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 20. Nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 20. Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. That it is because God is going to prosper us. So as an act of faith, we will arise and build. I look forward by the grace of God to coming to a completed prayer mountain and a cathedral in, and in the name of Jesus we agree that it will be done and that intercession will rise from that place to the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. His eminence Archbishop Duncan Williams has been a blessing to all of us even in Nigeria and across the globe and let me tell you this I fear God most of you have followed me. It would be evil for me to come into this land and have the privilege of the honor that you have given me. You have given me an honor that I consider a national honor based on the things that you have done for me. It would be evil of me to not make a contribution to stand by this great father, this great general, and this veteran to see to it that this work becomes complete. And so, I made up my mind that I'm going to be the one to lead. Because if I do not lead, I'm not leading by example. But there are three categories of people very quickly. Number one is everyone. I want to challenge you and beseech you by the mercy of God. There are times in a man's life and there are times where God desires to move in the midst of his people. And he desires a resting place that will become a tabernacle for his power and his move. Can I tell you this? It will take willing men and women with revelation to say, I will be part of this. I believe at one point or the other, many of you have contributed in giving and in being part of the various ministry pro projects. But this is the first time I am making a call. I'm standing here. The first category is that everybody, whether you are inside, whether you are outside, whether you are following from Europe, from America, in fact, I know that there are several people who reached the protocol and reached several people and say you have seeds you want to sow into the life of Apostle Joshua Selman. I received that seed by faith. Let's convert it and we'll sow it even for this project. <laughs> Number two, the second category of people that I want to challenge by God are men and women who God by his grace has put in privileged positions and you know that you want to make a significant sacrifice. I'm in that category. A significant sacrifice. Something that you know will contribute sincerely and seriously to this project. There are people seated there are people outside. There is no need manipulating you. As much as God has shown us mercy, I know by the Spirit that there are people here who have obtained mercy and help from God. And you see, part of the purpose of the blessings of the Lord upon the man's life is so that kingdom come can find expression. I have been a beneficiary and a recipient of the kindness of people who have stood by me in life and even in ministry, helping me to be efficient 
the blessings is what some of you have received even from the teaching and so there is this second category of people and for these people sincerely if I'm given the permission I, I want you to join me I'm trusting God and I'm saying this at the risk of being misunderstood but I'm trusting God that God will grant grace that within this crowd inside and outside if God will grant at least a hundred to one hundred and fifty of us who will come and stand with the archbishop and say as God has granted me grace I want to make a significant commitment to this project no coercion this is out of revelation I want history that my children and my children's children will reap from this sacrifice as prayer rises from this place to the nations that is the second category. The third category of people are those who I know by the Spirit of God. They are in every nation. Business people, captains of industry, responsible members of parliament. I know that there are people who even individually, God has blessed them enough. They have the capacity to single-handedly write off the budget for this. No coercion, but it is true that there are people like that. For those people, for security reasons and for many other reasons, may I request, you are listening to me from across the globe, America, Europe, Asia, and here in Ghana and across Africa, you belong to this third category and you know that God has shown you mercy and you have been blessed by the life and the ministry of his eminence and God is putting in your heart. There are people who literally can write off checks of a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars and say, look, let it go for kingdom come. There are people who can do that. There may not be many, but in truth, there are people who can do that. And we have to be honest with ourselves first as the body of Christ and then as a nation that if and when God provides this kind of opportunities, if he helps us, we must be able to stretch our hands. For those people, I will specially request that there be a system to meet with the archbishop himself personally so that he will, you know, just pray and bless you. But for this second category of people, I'm not coercing you. I'm standing here as number one. I want to invite as many people, I'm trusting and praying sincerely that God will be able to find at least a hundred to a hundred and fifty of us. Please don't be emotional. If you don't believe in what I'm saying, that's all right. You will not go to hell and there is no cause coming on you. Are we together now? No cause is coming on you, no, whatever. There is no need telling you lies. But we are standing before the nation to show them we are responsible Christians. And there is no hiding as far as kingdom come is concerned, that when it has to do with building the Lord's house, it will come on the shoulder of priests. There are people here who want to make significant contributions. I'm releasing my faith to trust God for a hundred or a hundred and fifty people. If there are those people here, let me respectfully plead with you. If I would be allowed to have them come to the front here, and I will stand with you. Like I'm saying, there is no coercion. I want to pray for you and possibly speak a blessing over your life. I am doing this because I fear God. I'm doing this because of the burden for this work. This work can be completed. I will count one to five. Don't feel, don't feel embarrassed if you feel you are not coming out. But let me challenge you. If you know that God has shown you mercy, I want you to come and join me. I have made a covenant with God. And I prayed myself with all my heart. I said I will come here and I will not only say this, but I will stand to see that my seed speedily comes into this project. I want to be able to stand there and someday have the privilege of saying that for every life that was healed, destiny changed, nation transformed, that we were able to contribute to kingdom come. Wherever you are, a significant contribution. Please, I'd like you to come and stand out here wherever you are. I will count one to five whether it's the guests coming, the pastors, leaders. Don't say you are, you are in this ministry and I am a leader. That's not what I'm asking you. If you know that God has shown you mercy, please come and stand here very quickly. Please take it higher for me. 
Celebrate them as they come. Come. Come to Jesus. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. Whoever you want, please think about what you are doing. I'm only calling for those who are coming here to make significant, significant seeds. Everybody will participate. I will soon give you room. Everybody is going to participate as God grants grace. But I'm trusting God for at least 150 of us. Apostle, I believe in the ministry of his eminence. I know that there are hundreds and thousands of people online. I'm going to guide you shortly on what to do. Please beware of scammers. I don't know if it happens here in Ghana. But when we make such announcements like this, we have to give disclaimers. Because there are people who cash in on the sincerity of God's people and now take advantage of them. Hallelujah. Now please listen. For all of you who have come, please make sure as you are coming out, you understand what you are doing. Don't just come out emotionally because chances are that when calls are made like this, sometimes people just come out emotionally and they don't do anything. They don't give anything. Will I be given the permission? Will I be given the permission to meet with these people and pray with them? I want to pray and speak over your lives. Hallelujah. I understand that there is a form here that you would be given. Listen, the truth is whether you give or not, nobody is going to carry a gun and pursue you. But let's fear God. Let's fear God sincerely. Okay, praise the Lord. I'm told that His Eminence has given permission to meet with you tomorrow before I, before I leave. Will that be fine? Please, if, if, we can, if we can come with, I want to encourage every one of you, please come with your prayer request something you are trusting God for. We are not scammers. We are, fr we are not fraudsters. We fear God. I fear God sincerely. And this is a hallowed platform. I will not stand here to manipulate you. I am I'm going to pray over your life and I believe that his eminence will also be there. Wh when can we meet? No. What? 10. Okay. 10 o'clock in the morning. Is there a venue? Kairos Hall. Okay, so this is what will happen. Even if it means for me to delay my flight and to ensure that I meet with these ones before we leave, it is worth it for the kingdom. Hallelujah. But for now, I'm going to pray for you. Listen to me. My life changed when I made certain sacrifices in the house of God. There's no need talking about all of these things now. But I can tell you that this is what God helped us to do. To rise to where we are now. Rising in the spirit is with intention and with seriousness. And I promise you that as I minister to you and lay my hands on you. What will happen to you within one month. You will marvel and wonder at the power and the grace of God. Remember that this is not for show. We are serious about what we are doing. Someday Jesus is going to come and we will stand before him and give account of what we are doing. Hallelujah. For all of you, you are, you are being given a form now. Please, I want you to be people of integrity. I will speak a word over you now 
and then I will give the general announcement for everybody to be part of this project. This thing with the kind of influence and with the kind of grace upon our Father and this ministry, we can join faith together and make this thing happen in the shortest time possible. Are we in agreement with that? Father, I pray over everyone who has come to join me in this project of completing this prayer city. It is an honor and a privilege, oh God, to be able to contribute in providing financial resources for your house. For there is nothing we have received except that which has come from you. I pray for everyone who is standing here. Lord, you are no man's debtor. Many of you are standing here and you are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in your corporations and in your lives. Some of you, even from this night, I release my faith with you by the God who called me and anointed me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy over systems and structures. I, I speak to the four winds across Accra, Ghana. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the authority of priesthood, may the gates be open heater and teeter for your advancement. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ. And I pray and ask that the Lord would bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing. I need someone to direct me on how our global family can be part of this. Because I know that there are people who are watching through Dominion Television. Some of them are following through Koinonia Global. And are saying, Apostle, I believe in what you have, you have said. And I want to be part of this, but I'm in Europe. I'm in America. I have to be part of this project. Is there, is there a way, is there an account or something so that we don't fall victim of scammers? Okay. Can we have, can we have the giving platforms on the screen? Please. NDW Ministries. NDW Ministries. NDW Ministries. Okay. NDW Ministries, I'm, I'm, I'm told. And these are the giving platforms. Hallelujah. Some of you want to come in $10,000, $20,000. You just want to write off this. And whatever it is that God has granted you grace, any significant contribution, I want you to believe God for it. And let's release our faith together to make it happen. Now for everyone, per adventure you were not able to join these people. There is no reason to feel bad. God is helping us and we're in different levels. Are we together now? I know that many of you have the heart to give, but there is no need coming here to frustrate yourself. I know that God will help us, and as he helps us, we will continue to rise and to give. But I know that there are people for sure who can do something. Let me encourage everyone right now who is in this place, that in the name of Jesus, if you believe in what I am saying, and you believe in what God is doing, let me encourage you in one minute as I speak over you to so into this project if you need to write maybe a memo to help you so that the church accounts will know how to reconcile everything why don't we try the prayer city project maybe we could write something like that am i allowed to use that okay, okay so and i'm told ndw ministries i think is there projected you can make all transfers please Make sure that nobody scams you whatsoever. Make sure that the transfers go to this account. If you do not see this name, that is not the account. Just um, stop whatever transaction you are doing. Hallelujah. But let me pray for you. Everyone, let me pray for you. Those who are here, who have come out, and for everyone, I want to pray. I bow my knees to you, oh God the God of my covenant. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Let me do the kneeling for you. You have anointed us by grace and you have given us the privilege to gather your people. And Lord, I have taught your people the principles of the kingdom. You have worked wonders in our midst, healing the sick, delivering the oppressed, imparting all kinds of graces. And Lord, I bring before you the burden of the prayer city that you have committed to his eminence, the archbishop. And Lord, we have come as responsible beneficiaries 
of his grace and of his ministry to stand with him and to stand by him to see that this vision becomes a reality therefore lord i speak over ghana bowing my knees that for everyone who has joined any of these three categories in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god may my god who is also the god of your father supply your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nobody gives and goes down i decree and declare that nobody gives and ends up in shame i decree and declare that nobody gives and regrets his or her giving in the name of jesus christ you will not give and charge god with fraud you will not give and charge god with dishonesty may my god surprise you beyond your imagination in the name of jesus christ that by this time next year for everyone who is here and who god has granted the grace to participate return a thousand times better in the name of jesus christ and then for the final blessing over Accra, Ghana, in the name that is above all names by the privilege of the election of grace i stand upon the grace of his eminence and i declare over you go from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ i declare that everything that has killed your prayer life your word study life by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be restoration for you in the name of jesus i pray for your president i pray for the members of parliament across all the regions in ghana may the lord grant them wisdom and discretion in the name of jesus we fortify the spiritual borders of ghana against terrorism in the marvelous name of jesus i decree and declare that everyone who is called by the name of the lord and a son and a daughter of this soil you will benefit from the grace that is upon this land i pray for every church every man woman of god in the name that is above all names you will continue to fan the fire of revival in the name of jesus christ i pray for every prayer group i pray for every christian platform across ghana in the name of jesus be blessed i pray for all the citizens of ghana whether they are christians whether they are muslims whatever we bless them with the blessings of heaven in the name of jesus christ and i pray that let it be a new season for this nation and the role that ghana has to play in the global revival the role that ghana has to play in the prophetic renaissance that is happening in africa may ghana play to the latter in the name of jesus christ be blessed in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of the father i bless you in the name of the son and i bless you in the name of the holy spirit amen and amen so please for all these ones you may respectfully return back to your seat and we meet tomorrow ghana i love you with all my heart May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. One minute. Please don't go. Keep, keep moving. Keep moving to your seats. It's important that those of you who took the envelopes, you come in tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the Kairos Hall. Is the youth church right down there. You must come in with your envelopes to enter in. It's not another service. It's a straightforward thing. So there's a morning glory prophetic service will be going on here by Prophet Victor Kusibuatin. That will be happening in the morning here. But those who took the envelope will meet the man of God, the apostle. And after that, you can come and join the prophetic service. But please take your envelopes with you. Stay whatever your commitment is on the envelope with all your information and that you will present at the gate to allow you to come in and after you leave it on the altar 
But there's one thing I want us to do quickly. Many a times we have men of God, women of God come and bless us and we receive all the blessing and we say bye-bye. I want us stand on your feet. I want us to pray and I want us to bless him and use him as a point of contact to bless the fathers in Nigeria from Papa Deboye, Bishop Oyedeko and Ayo and all the others in Nigeria. Let's Let's pray for God's protection and blessings upon him. And I want the bishops to come and surround him. And let's use him as a point of contact to send prayers to the fathers of Nigeria. Nigeria is very strategic in God's time, God's end time revival. Never forget that. If Nigeria gets it right, Africa will get it right. And Nigeria will. Amen. So we want the bishops to come. We want to pray and surround him all over. And I want everybody right now to begin to pray for him that he will move from glory to glory, grace to grace, and that God will preserve him and show him many, many, many decades of sweet victories and that he will run his race. He will finish his course. He will fight the fight of faith. The good fight of faith. He will keep the faith. Can you open your mouth? Surround him with prayer and the songs of deliverance. Put your hands together. Those of you on television, online, everywhere, in Tassi, pray for him right now. Come on, open your mouth. Give back. I can't hear you. Give back. Give back. Pray for him. Use him as a point of contact to pray for the fathers of Nigeria. Leap prayers for the fathers of Nigeria, for him and the fathers of Nigeria, and even the fathers of other African countries, and for all those whom God is raising and are rising up across the nations and the continent of Africa. Come on, somebody, put your hands together and lift up prayer. I can't hear you. Push it one more time. Push it. Push it. Push it. Lift up your hands now. Lift up your hands all over the place. Say, Heavenly Father, from the throne room perspective, from, from where all are over heaven and earth is derived. We entrust, we command your servant and your son to your care and to the charge of your warring angels that it will increase from grace to grace, from glory to glory, that he will wax stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus that he will walk he will walk in the anointing and dimensions of the Holy Ghost such as no man of God from the land from which he comes or from which he came from has ever experienced before let his horn be exalted about the homes of all others in the name of Jesus make him a voice in this generation and let his voice echo in generations that are yet to come in the name of Jesus we deploy angelic escorts angelic assistance and proclaim before heaven and earth all oh, enemy make no mistake you will not smite this one make no mistake you will not circumvent this one make no mistake you will not discredit this one make no mistake you will not implicate this one make no mistake this one will run his race this one will finish his course this one will keep the faith this one will fight the good fight of faith Make no mistake, this one 
will be satisfied with long life and see the salvation of God. And now I want everybody to command the finishing anointing, the finishing grace over his life right now. Put your hands together. Say, oh Lord, grant your servant, grant your son the finishing grace, the finishing anointing, finishing grace, finishing anointing that he will finish his course, his mandate. In the name of Jesus, we surround him now with songs of deliverance, with songs of redemption. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we surround him now with firewalls, with prayer shields. In the name of Jesus, we command him now to the church of the warring angels that will preserve him and fight and war and contend for his mantle, for your mandate upon his life, that he will walk in dimensions of the oil of God and the anointing of God like the world has never known it before. In the name of Jesus, that it shall be said, there is a voice that is an oracle of God in Africa for the nation of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, Bless him, Lord. Increase him, Lord. Be his shield, Lord. Be his guide, Lord. Saruda, while I akutu wahan, the zai to kada, se falu wahan du zaya, ei kidi bahas, wakutala hasada. Put your hands together and thank God. Please be seated, Dr. Robert Ambiakofi will receive our offerings for tonight. Thank you. Please be ready to give it to give. Don't forget the prophetic word the Lord gave me. I want you to keep this prophetic word. He said, tell my children, henceforth, the supernatural manifestation, provision, and power of God will become the order of the day. You didn't hear it. Come on, somebody. If you receive it, put your hands together and give the Lord a shout. Right Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos, kete branda kata pa kotos koto pre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.